keep themselves muted during the con uh, competition. It is also worthy to state and notice to all teachers and contestants that students from different time zones will be the first to be invited. And students from the same time zone, IST, will be invited post completion of students from countries such as Malaysia and others. So in a few seconds, we are ready to begin. And as we speak, the clock struck 6 p.m. IST and the competition thus starts. 18th of June, 2021, it is today, the third consecutive day of the international competition. How important is SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals in our lives? A competition hosted by the Circle of Legends, a platform, believes that technology can be utilized for the betterment of humanity along with a beautiful and bold and inspiring leader, Dr. Vidrana Sarik, the chief organizer of this international competition, who is a professor, mentor of economics, and holds a master's degree in economics. She is also the national coordinator of ENO Environmental Online, the initiator and participator of a project called PIN, where her school was the holder of a project in the amount of about 100,000 euros. She is the winner of one of the awards amongst 510 most successful educational workers in Croatia in the year 2019. She is currently in the specialist study of accounting, auditing, and analysis. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have our co host and chief organizer of this event. So, please do put your hands together in welcoming Dr. Vedrana Sarek. And as we move on, it is important to say the purpose of such competitions, convening global talents and great minds together in one platform, is to understand how we as mankind, how we as intelligent human beings being blessed with so much in our life can come together, understand and create an action plan for us to move forward in creating a better world for all. And indeed, we've witnessed two successful days where there were hundreds of students, perseverance, captivating, confident speakers who presented their work and have proved themselves to be the leaders in the making. And here we are, as I stated, day number three of this particular event going on strong and steady with the support of the dear teachers who have joined this platform and a beautiful talented and vibrant young children. Good evening to you all, and we shall begin. And I am Samida Mohammed, the moderator of this event. And let me begin by introducing these respected panel of judges. Beginning with a graduated, a graduate from the Teachers Academy in 2005, and she has been working as the Laza Kostic uh, Elementary School in Gakovo, Serbia for 15 years part of the eTwine community and has participated in many international projects for which she has been awarded several times. She is also part of the Global School Alliance and her teaching is most often conceived as project-based learning. In teaching, she uses the basics of coding and programming. Some of her works are in the knowledge base of her country as examples of best practices. Students should study climate change and they should be aware of how to treat the environmental responsibly. A millennial teacher and one of our respected panel of judges, I am honored and humbled in inviting Miss Liliana Mudrinich. Ladies and gentlemen, our first judge of the panel, Miss Liliana Mudrinich. And as we move on to talk about our next judge who has joined our panel, she's also a teacher and a mentor since October 5th, 2017 and holds a diploma as a computer science teacher and at the same time is a class teacher for primary schools. She's employed at primary school Hinka Juna Pod Podkoro in Croatia and he's been working for the past 13 years in branch school for Dimitri. The students from six to 10 years old, and this year her students are fourth grade 10 year olds. 
She's also a member of the eTwining community and the school coordinator for eTwining projects. Founder of many eTwining international projects at the same time, she loves to participate with her students in a lot of various projects. Her teaching is made most of the time, again, as project based learning. She writes articles about her good practice practices from class for publishing houses, namely Sloska Nija in Croatia, and her articles are published on publishing houses with portals as well. In 2020, she was awarded for one of the most uh, 510 successful educational workers in Croatia and often invited to lectures for international conferences where she talks about her projects and project-based learning. She has written several digital materials for primary school students and ha has held several webinars in the international project web classroom one and two, and also used Croatia examples of sharing good practices in the classroom. She is a mentor to students in various competitions, both national and international, and also holds the status of a member of the international team in competition, international talents for global empowerment. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together in inviting our next judge, Ms. Patricia Herzog. I hope I pronounced your name wrong. I was struggling there a bit. Please do pardon me if it did not turn out well. And finally, to come on to the panel of judges, we do have none other than chief organizer and co-host of this event, Ms. Pajana Sarek. So as we've now introduced the panel of judges, we are ready to begin with the competition. And I want all students to switch on their videos and show us that they're prepared to present. Please switch on your videos, students. Dear, sorry, please, please, you uh, can record. Uh, I cannot, your host. Recording in process. Recording in progress. Thank you. Most welcome. A kind request to all the students please switch on your videos. A very good evening to you all, future leaders. How are you all doing? I hope that you're all prepared, ready to fire ammunition today. If it is so, please do give me a thumbs up. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So let's begin with a positive note. Leaders in the making, leaders are those who inspire others to dream more, to do more and become more. So I can see today as the three day journey that I have experienced thus far, that I have seen budding leaders and leaders who are ready to take the step forward. And now I have joined the platform with leaders who are ready to action their steps. So without any further ado, let me invite the very first contestant of today's event. From Malaysia, I would like to call upon contestant number 60. Contestant number 60, Vijay Bhaskar Ravindra Kumar, student of Ms. Samuel Shelby. Contestant number 60, Vijay Bhaskar Ravindra Kumar. Contestant number 60, are you there with us? Student of Miss Summer Selby. Let me please also inform to all teachers and students that chances will not be uh, repeated as time is of the essence. It is important that we maintain time and respect all students who have joined our, and are ready to present. So, teachers, Please do connect with your students and please tell them to be prepared with the presentation at all times. So the final call for contestant number 60, Vijay Bhaskar Ravindra Kumar, Malaysia, age 15, student of Ms. Samuel Selby. Moving on to the next contestant, we have contestant number 172, Rishika Jayabalan. 
Malaysia. No, no dear. No, dear, not for Zoom. This uh, is in red color. Uh, we go on 189. Uh, yes. Yes. Contestant number 189. Vinodini Chandra Mohan, student from Malaysia, student of Watsala Devi Supramaniam. Contestant number 189. Vinodini Chandra Mohan, are you with us? Contestant number 189, Vinodini Chandra Mohan, student of Ms. Watsala Devi Supramaniam from Malaysia, age 17. Contestant number 189, Vinodini Chandra Mohan from Malaysia, age 17, student of Ms. Watsala Devi Supramaniam. Okay, go next. Moving on. Contestant number 191, Ashwina Murali from Malaysia, student of Ms. Watsala Devi Supramaniam. Contestant number 191, Ashwina Murali from Malaysia, student of Ms. Watsala Devi Supramaniam. Last call for contestant number 191. Taswina Murli from Malaysia, student of Ms. Watsala Devi Supramaniam. Moving on. Contestant number 229, Najla Binti Nizan from Malaysia, student of Ms. Lisa. Contestant yes. number. A very good evening to you, Najla. A good evening. How are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. And how do we feel now about the competition today? Nervous. Nervous. I'm sure. I'm sure you're gonna rock the competition as you've got a very confident face and a pleasant smile on it. So let me quickly introduce you to your judge, Miss Liliana Mudrinich. Please be present and to do the honors of evaluating and assessing the work of contestant number. 229, Najla Bintinizan from Malaysia. Miss Liliana, contestant Najla. Hello, dear. How are you? Hello. Could you present us your work? What did you do? Uh, I do a seahorse. And why do you uh, choose that subject? Uh, uh, I do a marine life fish for seahorse. The eel, fish, whale, and jellyfish and seashell represent fauna, while the seagrass and coral reef mean fauna. I wanted my painting to be as brilliant and as lively as the color of the ocean. We know that when we protect the oceans, we're protecting our future. The SDG are a universal plan for all countries to end poverty, protect the planet, and ensure prosperity for all. SDG's 2030 agenda is to foster peaceful, just, and inclusive societies which are free from fear and violence. That said, thank you. Thank you. Is that all? Thank you. thank you so much, Miss uh, Miss Liliana, and thank you so much, Najla. That was a very interesting presentation. Congratulations, and wishing you all the very best. Moving on to our next contestant, we have contestant number two hundred and fifty-one, LV Elviera Perry, from Malaysia, student of Miss Debbie Jane Slim. Contestant number two hundred and fifty-one, LV Elviera Perry. From Malaysia, age 15, student of Miss Debbie Jane Slim. Contestant number 251, LV Elviera Perry. Very good evening to you, LV. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And how are you feeling about the competition today? Nervous, but I'm okay. Yes. That's the confident champion. So you are ready and I am too ready in introducing you to your respective judge, Ms. Shija. 
I'm from Croatia, who is ready to do the honors of evaluating and assessing your work. Ms. Patricia, this is LB Elbiera Perry from Malaysia. Hello, dear. Can you please Hi. present your work? Can you please present your work? Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm LB Elbiera Perry from Malaysia. I'm 15 years old. My group name is Olumaya Biat. And I'm here to introduce you about my artwork that I call the life underneath the sea. The technique I use to make this artwork is painting techniques. This artwork may make based on the sustainable development goal number 14, that is life below water. My masterpiece, The Life Underneath the Sea, is about the beauty of life under the sea that we have to appreciate it and take care of. Why we must care about the sea? It is not just its beautiful look, but it also about its role in supplying our protein and oxygen. <laughs> most, of, most people said that forest is the biggest oxygen supplier on earth, but that was wrong. The real thing is 50 to 80% of earth oxygen come from the ocean and most of it come from the plankton. The message that I will try to express from this artwork, the beauty of nature that but it has its own rule in the ecosystem on earth. So we must protect it. I hope that humankind will stop polluting the wonderful God creation. Remember that the nature doesn't need us, but we need the nature to stay alive. Thank you for my presentation about my artwork. Thank you, Thank you. so much. Thank you so much. And I wish you all the best in this contest. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much, Ms. Patricia. And thank you very much, Elvie, for below life below water was a very captivating presentation. Congratulations on a job well done and wishing you all the very best. Moving on to our next contestant, contestant number 280, Darshini Krishnan from Malaysia, student of Ms. Nirmala Devi Kandasamy. Contestant number 280, Darshini Krishnan from Malaysia, student of Ms. Nirmala Devi Kandasamy. Last call for contestant number 280. Darshini Krishnan from Malaysia, age 15, student of Ms. Nirmala Devi Kandasamy. Moving on. Last invitation to all contestants from Malaysia. Beginning with contestant number 189, Vinod Chandra Mohan, student of Ms. Vatsala Devi Supramaniam. Are you available with us? Contestant number 189, Vinod Chandra Mohan. Contestant number 191, Tashwina Murli, student of Ms. Vatsala Devi Supramaniam. Contestant number 191, Tashwina Murli from Malaysia, student of Ms. Vatsala Devi Supramaniam. Hi, teacher. Tashvina, are you with us? Um, yes, I'm here. Can you please uh, switch on your video? Greetings, everyone. I am Tashina Morali from Malaysia, Johor. So I'm going to start my presentation now. Okay, and this so need to is switch on my your video, please. Tashwina Murli, please switch on your video, darling. Uh, madam, my video is on. Um, can yeah. all the other participants confirm whether her video is on? Because for me, it's just a black screen. Yes. Yes, I, I right. think okay. it's... Okay. Uh, now you're okay. on. Oh, sorry. Now you're on. 
no not a problem at all how are you doing um i'm fine wonderful how so are you all yes we are all doing great indeed we are having a wonderful time with you great leaders and how about you are you excited and all yes, for the i'm very excited and i can see that i've been preparing for hours now wonderful so preparedness is the first step to success and now it's time to introduce you to your respective judge Ms. Vedrana Sarek who shall do the honors of evaluating and assessing your performance hello yeah, dear hello dear Tashwina uh, can you please explain your drawing okay um so just let me introduce myself I'm Tashwina Murali to start again okay now I'm going to start so this is my art. Have you ever heard a quote where art speaks where words are unable to explain? And that is the purpose of my art, to convey and share the message about the goal 14 in action, life below water. So now, I want you all to imagine a cold dark sea, but nothing near sight, just dark murky water. There's no life, right? That's the beauty of life below water. So the living things that under the water is what gives the ocean its beauty. The corals, the fishes, the sharks, the dolphins, the turtles. Over 3 billion people depend on the marine and coastal biodiversity for their life food. So why is it important? Oceans provide a lot of natural resources. They help with the breakdown and removal of waste pollution. That is why it's important. So why is it important for me as a teenager? I, as a human, as a teenager, the moment I set foot on the earth, I breathe its air, I drink its water, I share the same food system, the same the food chain, the ecosystem, I feel like I'm responsible for it. So the only thing I can do right now is to follow the rules that have been set for us and prevent the pollution. That's all for me, thank you. Thank you, dear Tashina, and good luck to you. Bye bye. Thank you so much, Ms. Vadrana and Tashvina. Your presentation was indeed very interesting. You had actually adopted the concept of the tip of the iceberg. What we see above the water is not the reality that lies beneath and below the water. Well presented. Wishing you all the very best and congratulations on a job well done. Moving on. I think our contestants from Malaysia have been covered with a few no-shows and now I shall move contestants available from Bangladesh. Contestant number 140, Shyama Devnath. Shyama Devnath, contestant number 140 from Bangladesh, student of Ms. Ismet Farzana Iqbal. Shyama Devnath, are you available with us? Contestant number 140, Shyama Debnath, student of Ms. Ismet Farzana. Teachers, please get in touch with your students and ensure that they are online. Ms. Ismet Farzana, are you with us? I think, I think, dear, no. All right, so I believe we can move over to the students from India then. Yes. Starting from contestant number four, Chitresh Goshal. Chitresh Goshal, contestant number yes. four from India, student of Ms. Swati Bakshi. Yes, sir. am I audible? Yes, Chitresh. Yes, How are sir. you doing? Yes, I'm fine. Wonderful. So are you all prepared and excited about today's competition? Yes, uh, and a little nervous too. Of course, who? Even I'm nervous moderating the event, so it's so normal to be nervous. We are all humans at the end of the day, but y'all are all winners who have prepared and you are participating in the competition. Participation is success itself. So are we ready to proceed, Chitresh? Yes, uh, but uh, since I made poster, so it's, uh, it is uh, in the device. So can I share the screen? All right. Okay. Is it a presentation or a poster? No, no, just a poster. Wonderful, yes. And before uh, before I uh, you can do that, let me please introduce you to your respective judge, Miss Liliana Mudrinich, 
from Croatia who shall do the honors of evaluating and assessing your work. Ms. Liliana, contestant Fresh Goshal from Hello. India. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. Great. Uh, you want to show us your uh, poster? Yes. Okay. Let's share then. Okay, okay. Just a minute. Yes, uh, is it visible? Yes, it's visible. Yes, uh, so in this poster, I uh, it is uh, according to the uh, Sustainable Development Goal 3, which states that uh, good health and well-being. So whenever we talk about uh, good health and well-being, the first thing that strikes uh, anyone's mind is the uh, physical uh, health of the person. But uh, during this lockdown, the people uh, of every age group is more like uh, mentally stressed and even physically uh, stressed, but uh, the mental health is often neglected. So this poster is regarding that only that uh, we should also care about our mental health because uh, mental health is something which will keep us positive during this pandemic situation. And we should also uh, try to support the ones who are uh, mentally stressed during this time and keep them positive as well as stay positive. And uh, that's all for this poster. And I have another poster which was uh, nominated, which is this one. And uh, this is according to the SDG 5, which uh, speaks about uh, gender equality. So this poster uh, shows the types by which uh, the, uh, there is gender discrimination in the society. And for example, in the gender pay gap, we often see that for the same work, men and women are paid uh, different salaries uh, due to their gender. And uh, even the higher portfolios in the office are often given to the men because people still think that women are more, uh, more involved in the household activities. So they might not give their best uh, to the office. And uh, mainly in India, there is another thing that is a dowry system in which the groom uh, demand for uh, cash or uh, something else from the bride's family, which uh, make, uh, most of the times put the uh, bride's family in uh, financial uh, poverty. And uh, then there are the, in the Indian rural areas, we often see that girls are not allowed to study. This uh, is because of the uh, earlier traditional beliefs that uh, girls should, be, uh, should learn the uh, household activities and uh, get married early and uh, all that whereas boys uh, should study and uh, make a future so these are the things which we should stop so that we can make a more uh, better society and uh, yes that's all thank you hey, thank you very interesting presentation i wish you all the best thank you thank you Thank you so much, Ms. Liliana and Trish. Mental health and discrimination, two important topics that needs public attention. Thank you so much for presenting us and congratulations to you on a job wonderfully done and wishing you all the very best. Moving on to our next contestant, we have contestant number seven, Ishita Das from India, student of Ms. Swati Bakshi. Contestant number yes. seven. Am I audible and visible? Yes. Good evening to you, Ishita. Good evening, ma'am. I'm pretty fine, but I'm a bit nervous. Uh... Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. As I said, we are all nervous. I was nervous before I said my first greeting and greeting at today's event. So nervous is good. Nervous means we are ready. Nervous means we are all prepared. So yeah, let's rock the show, isn't it, Ishita? Yes, definitely. Let me now invite uh, and introduce you to your respected judge, Ms. Patricia Herzog from uh, Croatia. 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 Ms. Patricia, this is Ishita Das, contestant from India. Hello, dear Ishita. Can you Hello, please introduce your work to us? Yes, definitely. Good evening, everyone. I am Ishita Das from Funlish, India, and today, I'm going to say a few things about the poster that I had made on SDG 10, Gender Inequalities. In this poster, I have basically depicted two situations. Number one, the scenario of the present world where no matter how much we say, there is gender inequalities everywhere. And number two, 
the way it should have been, the equal world. There are places where scenarios have become so bad that women themselves have started thinking that they are both physically and emotionally weaker than the men. At every point in time, women are being forced to think that they cannot do, rather they do not have the right to do the things that a man is capable of doing. It is sometimes believed that it's a woman's duty to cook food and take care of the family, whereas the male member has the right to go and earn for the family. Both of them have the capability of learning, earning and caring. That's what I want to represent through this poster. I know there are people who are trying their best to promote gender equality. And I also hope that this poster of mine is worthy enough to be a tiny piece of contribution in this large movement of revolution. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. I wish you all the best in this contest. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Patricia and Ishita. I do have to give you a round of applause for a confidently executed presentation. You did very well and you are a winner already. So congratulations and wishing you all the very best. Moving on to our next contestant, we have contestant number 12, Pritish Mondal from India, student of Ms. Swati Bakshi. Contestant number 12, Pratish Mundal from India, student of Ms. Swati Bakshi. Contestant number 12, Pratish Mundal. Last call for contestant number 12, Pratish Mundal from India, student of Ms. Swati Bakshi. Moving on, uh, Ms. Badrana Sarek. Abhishek Chowdhury is not 15 years old. He is uh, 12 years old and he did his presentation yesterday. Abhishek Chowdhury, contestant number 15, student of Ms. Taruna Kapoor, has already presented his work yesterday. Okay, yes, dear. We are, moving on to the next oh, yes. we are moving on to the next contestant, contestant number 38, Kashish Sharma from India, student of Ms. Rachna Sharma. Kashish Sharma, contestant number 38 from India, age 16, student of Ms. Rachna Sharma. Good evening to you, Kashish. How are you doing? I'm fine, ma'am. What and, about you? Uh, Yes, doing very well. Thank you so much for asking. Are we all prepared, geared, and ready to give a blast? Yeah, I'm prepared. Wonderful. Wonderful, that's the spirit. Now, let me now introduce you to your respected judge, Ms. Vadrana Sarek, who shall do the honors of evaluating and assessing your performance. Ms. Vadrana Kashish Sharma from India. Yes, hello, Thank dear you. Kashish. Yes, uh, how are you? I'm fine, what about you? Great, uh, me too. Uh, can you please introduce yourself and explain your drawing? Sure. Thank you. Is it visible to you? Is it visible to you? Yes, dear. Yes, yes. Okay. Please continue. It is rightly said that Jivan Samaria, decent work is the heart of the search for dignity for the individual, stability for the family, and peace for the community. And indeed, it is true. SDG 8 recognizes the importance of sustained economic growth and high level of economic productivity for the creation of well paid quality jobs as well as resources, as well as resource efficiency in consumption and production. It is a need for food environment and decent work for all alongside the eradication of forced labor human trafficking and child labor and the promotion of labor rights. Poverty eradication is only possible through
I think, uh, Kashish, you must yes. be having internet connectivity issues, so your yes. presentation okay. is not very clear. Uh, Kashish Sharma, um, I would kindly request you to go back, check with your internet connectivity and ensure that you have a stable and a steady connection. Please drop a message once you have sorted your connectivity problems. Hence, I think we, it's okay, dear. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Can you Spain please? Uh, yeah. So can you please check your internet connectivity? Yeah, You're having a lag. Service. Not a problem at all. Just there's a lag and you get stuck in between the video. So why not go back, check your connectivity, sort it out and drop a message to us. We will re-invite you. Ms. Vadrana, I would kindly request you to uh, please stay with us while I invite our next contestant, contestant number 39, Navya Sharma from India, student of Ms. Roshna Sharma. Navya Sharma, are you with us? Yes, ma'am. A very good evening to you, Navya. How are you doing? Good evening. I am good. Hope the same for you. Of course, we are doing great and beyond. Thank you so much for asking. And so ready to rock and roll, Navya? Yes, I'm of super course. excited. Oh, yes, we are equally excited to hear you speak. And let me please introduce you to your respective judge, Ms. Vadrana Sarek, who will do the honors of evaluating and assessing your work. Ms. Vadrana. Hello, Naya. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma uh, <laughs> uh, can you please explain your drawing? Yeah, yeah sure, ma'am. First of all, yes. I would like Okay, yes. Okay, yes, yes. First of all, I would like to say namaste to everyone. My name is Navya Sharma. I am 16 years old and I am from India. My artwork is based on sustainable development goal eight, decent work and economic growth. The thoughts and solutions I had for decent work and economic growth, I delivered them through two of my imaginative buddies. Both of them are listening to the news on television where they come across the news on atrocities and inhuman behavior being faced by the laborers and workers. This hits a conversation between them. The girl says that she feels very bad about the workers and laborers. In continuation to the conversation, the boy feels the same and suggest a few methods which could bring about a change and raise the living standards of everyone. The boy says that everyone should get access to qualitative jobs. It means people get safe and secure working environment. Number of working hours is fixed for everyone and they get appropriate salaries and wages. Promotion of skill-based education by providing training which would create better entrepreneurs and reduce the problem of unemployment. Promoting decent and safe work for all, be it men, women, youth or migrants. Eradication of child labor. Children should be set free from working forcefully at young age. Instead, one should allow them to get proper education and let them explore their dreams. At the last, the boy creates awareness about the utter tinkering lab at his Bluebells Public School, which is an initiative under SDG8, promoting decent work, creativeness, innovation, and entrepreneurship. At last, I would like to conclude in words of Sir APJ Abdul Kalam. When learning is purposeful, creativity blossoms. When creativity blossoms, thinking emanates. When thinking emanates, knowledge is lit. And when knowledge is lit, economy flourishes. With this, I end. Thank you. Thank you so much, Junavia. And good luck to you. Thank you so much, bye Mr. Bruno. Thank you so much, Navya, for reminding and stating a beautiful quote of Dr. Abdul. I would also say that education is the very, very bedrock too, and also is the passport to our future. And you had presented it so well, a captivating presentation, I should say. Congratulations to you and wishing you all the very best. Thank you.
Thank Moving you. on to our next candidate, candidate number 40, Naina Kurana from India. Student is Ms. Rachna Sharma. Candidate number 40, Naina yes. Kurana. Good evening. Good evening to you, Naina. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Oh, yes. So are we ready to present? Are we ready to present, Naina? Yes. All right. Okay. So wishing you all the very best for a wonderful presentation. Let me now introduce you to your respective judge, Ms. Liliana Mudrinesh from Croatia. Ms. Liliana, this is contestant Naina Kurana from India. Hello, Nayana. Are Hello. you ready to present your work? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's start. Uh, ma'am, I have prepared a comic strip on sustainable development goal A, and I'm um, from Dubai's public school, India. An investment is not an investment if it destroys our planet. To this comic strip, I try to explain the key points of sustainable development goal A. As we all know about the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, which has resulted in the decline of GDP, employment rate, etc. Many people have lost their jobs, especially unskilled workers, people with disabilities, and migrant workers. So I believe sustainable development goal A will help people to get food security and shelter security. In this drawing, I tried to show a boy who could not get a job because his age was less than 18 years, due to which he has no food and shelter security. He was unaware about the goal aid and when educated about it, he got access to training for development of his skills and got a part-time job as well. I believe if we spread awareness then the situation can change for better employment rate can increase people can become more secure of their job a healthy working environment can also be provided women and people with disabilities will also be benefited main aspect of decent work and economic growth which is my personal favorite is abolishment of child labor and forced labor child labor isn't the best so Give them break and let them rest. Thank you, ma'am. Great presentation. Thank you, Naina. Uh, you, your, your presentation is about such an important topic. Th thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Liliana. And thank you, Naina Kurana, for that beautiful and interesting presentation. Congratulations to you for having presented a wonderful work and wishing you all the very best. Thank Moving you. on to our next contestant, contestant number 44, Tarushi Kaira. Tarushi Kaira from India, student of Mishika Taneja. Contestant number 44, Tarushi Kaira. Am I audible? Yes, you are, Tarushi. Tarushi, let me please spotlight you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Tarushi, are you good at taking compliments? I think so. You are looking absolutely gorgeous. Thank and you that so much. And that is a compliment. No problem. And I'm sure you are going to do a gorgeous presentation as well. So we are really looking forward to it. That's so sweet of you. And what a wonderful start to the competition. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tarushi. Let me now introduce you to your judge so that you can just rock and roll and show everyone what you really got so let me now introduce you to your respective judge miss patricia from croatia patricia contestant arushi kaira from india Good evening. hello dear hello can you please present your work or you can introduce yourself and present your work Hi, I'm Tarushi Kalra. I study in Bluebirds Public School and I'm 17 years old. I have prepared a digital poster and I would like to share it with you all. Okay. Um, is my poster visible? Yes, yes. Go on. 
A very good evening, everyone. I am Tarushi, and I would like to share with you all my poster on the 16th Sustainable Development Goal, that is, promoting just, peaceful, and inclusive societies. Before I begin explaining my poster, I would like to go ahead with an explanation of the goal itself. The 16th Sustainable Development Goal aims to build strong and just institutions in support of peaceful and inclusive societies around the world by 2030. As you can see, this poster is a hybrid of a digitally created comic strip showing a dialogue between a student and a teacher along with a handmade drawing of the world that shows that we are united together despite our differences. The painting reflects the unity of the world and how despite our differences, we are all human. The white dove in the painting is a symbol of peace, love and hope. The children reflect the future and how their efforts will transform the world with the hope to keep the tradition of humanity alive. The rainbow shows the various colors of life and, it diff and its different tones. Talking about the dialogue, the conversation between the teacher and the students is informative and interesting at the same time. It was my intention to make the conversation simple as well as inspiring for the readers and how they can make a change. I understand that this is a very small effort to actually bring about a change. However, I hope that this tiny contribution can prove to be incredibly useful as well as encouraging for the young generation. Thank you and I wish you all a great day. Thank you, Tarushri. This was a really great presentation. Thank you so much and good luck. Thank you so much, Ms. Patricia. You have been an advocate to say that whatever titles we may carry, we are all humans and humans are peace ambassadors by nature. It's an inbuilt DNA that we all carry and it's time to unleash that DNA. Wonderfully presented and confidently executed speech. As gorgeous as you are, your presentation as predicted was an excellent one. Thank you so much and congratulations. Wishing you all the very best, Tarushi. Moving on to our next contestant, contestant number 45, Guhika Joshi from India, student of Ms. Neha Marwa. Contestant number 45, Guhika Joshi from India, student yes. of Ms. Neha Marwa. Guhika, yes, are you with us? Yes, ma'am. Am I on the way? Yes, indeed you are. How are you doing? I'm very good, ma'am. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing very well, and it's so good to see some pretty faces on a evening of a Friday. Thank you so much for having such a pleasant appearance for us all. And now, are you ready, Guhika? Yes, ma'am. Very excited. Are you ready to get the trophy, to grab the trophy and be the winner? I try my best, ma'am. Wonderful, wonderful. Keep the spirit going. And now let me introduce you to your judge. Ms. Vadrana Sarek. Ms. Vadrana will do the honors in yes, evaluating sir. and assessing your performance. Contestant Guhika Joshi from India. Hello, dear Guhika. Uh, can you explain about your work, please? Yes, ma'am. I'll share my screen. I have made an e comic. In the words of Audrey Hepburn, I quote, Water is life, and clean water means health. A very good evening to everyone present here. Today, I, Guhika Joshi, a student of Blue Bus Public School at Gurugram in India, am here to share the importance of Sustainable Development Goal 6, clean water and sanitation in my life through a comic strip. Let me share a conversation between me and my mother a few years ago. It was a very cold day and I wanted to enjoy a long and warm bath. But my mom told me that I should use a bucket of water instead. I could not understand why. Then she told me that we need to avoid wasting water because more than 2.2 billion people don't have access to it. I was surprised. I had always believed that everyone had access to clean water. Isn't it funny that there are more people who have a mobile phone than the people who have access to sanitation resources. 
that was when my mom told me about the SDG goals and especially the sixth one, clean water and sanitation. We discussed how we could do our bit in conserving water. Mom said that we should work on the restoration of natural water resources, and I thought that we could harvest clean water. She agreed wholeheartedly and told me about some more solutions like reducing pollution, protecting ecosystems, making and maintaining international laws, sustaining water resources and sanitation and hygiene services for the long-term use of everyone, ensuring good water quality, proper wastewater treatment and safe use of water, and reaching out to people who are most in need. That conversation with mom was an eye-opener for me. Now I ensure that I do not waste water and also take steps to conserve it. I do not use bath taps, collect clean water, and reuse the wastewater from the RO system and take many more steps. It is our duty to do our part, however small, in ensuring that everyone has access to clean water. In the end, I would like to quote Jane Goddard. You cannot get through a single day without having an impact on the world around you. What you do makes a difference, and you have to decide what kind of a difference you want to make. Thank you, and have a nice day. Thank you, dear Gohika, and best wishes to you. Thank you, and bye-bye. Thank you so much, Ms. Vadrana, and uh, your poster, and the way you narrated the story, you were able to grab the attention of the audience in understanding what is this all about? And everybody was so, I'm sure, indulged and immersed in your poster. That was a great, great presentation. Congratulations on a job wonderfully done, Guhika, and Thank wishing you all the best. You. You're most welcome. Moving on to our next contestant, we have contestant number 46, Shreya Agarwal from India, student of Ms. Sapna Singha. Contestant number 46, Shreya Agarwal from India, yes, student of Ms. Sapna Singha. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, Sapna, would you please mind switching on your video? Yes, ma'am, I'm here. Oh, yes. yes. Good evening to you, Shreya. Good evening, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm very fine. Do you know something about yourself, Shreya? Yes, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Shreya Garwal, and I'm studying in 9th Standard in Bluebells Public School, Gurgaon, India. Wonderful. So can I say you a fact that you don't, I don't know whether you know about it. Can I say some more facts about you? One fact, in fact. Yes, you are yes, very sure. cute, Shreya. So why Thank not bear a cute smile on your face? Now why not give us a big broad smile? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. And let me now introduce you to your judge for you to begin your uh, presentation, Ms. Liliana from Serbia. Ms. Liliana, please do the honors of evaluating and assessing Shreya Agarwal's performance. Hello, sweetie. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. Can you present us your work? Yes, sure, ma'am. Okay. Uh, ma'am, can I share my poster? Hello, everyone. So, I had prepared a poster on SDG 2015. So, in this poster, the Earth is trying to give a message to protect our Earth for sustainable ecosystems. The man is cutting trees, therefore it leads to loss of oxygen, food, and shelter for living beings. Soil erosion, drought, and increase in atmospheric pressure, which is tan, leads to extension of birds and animals, as they did not get sufficient resources and environment to live. On the other side, small children are planting trees, planting trees, so promoting afforestation uh, will protect biodiversity and natural habitat. In short, not taking action on conservation of forests and planting parks will impact both the health of plants and our communities. So laws to be implemented strictly and cutting trees and animal hunting. It is a responsibility of every citizen and every should own it. This measure will lead to a sustainable ecosystem. I have chosen this SDG goal because it is necessary to protect our nature. 
but our future generation can survive. Everybody should understand the importance of the life of the land. So with this, the world forests are a shared stolen treasure that we must put back to our future generation. Great presentation, thank you. I wish you all the best. Do you want to say anything more? No? Okay, then thank you. Thank <laughs> bye, you bye. so much, Ms. Liliana. Okay. Thank you so much, Shreya. Land is not just a resource that we need to preserve. Land is the very platform that we need as one of our main support systems to survive, develop, grow, and reproduce. So thank you for that wonderful presentation on life on land. And congratulations to you on a job perfectly executed. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you, ma'am. You're most welcome, darling. And moving on to the next contestant, we have contestant number 47. Tushar Dudeja from India, student of Ms. Manju Yadav. Contestant Ma number 47, Tushar Dudeja. Ma'am, April. Good evening to you, Tushar. Good evening, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm excellent. Yes, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. Why are you nervous? I'm, I'm not nervous. If you're not nervous, then why not give a big smile to everybody? Yes, sure, that's it. So we are ready to win and rock? Yes, ma'am. Give a thumbs up then. Wonderful. Now let me please introduce you to your respective judge, Ms. Patricia from Croatia, who would do the honors of evaluating and assessing your work. Hello, dear. Hello. Can you please introduce your work to us? Yes, ma'am. And so I have made a short video. So I'm may I start with my introduction. Okay. Good afternoon, respected ma'am, mentors, and fellow audience. Today, I Tushar Dudeja, student of Lubus Public School, resident of Gurugram India, is going to share my thoughts about SDG Goal 1 and show you a short video. Poverty is the worst form of violence. There is enough on this planet for everyone's need, but not for everyone's greed, said MK Gandhi, the father of our nation. Sometimes I ask God why he allows poverty, famine, and injustice in this world, when he could do so something about it, but I'm afraid he would ask me the same question. I was raised to believe that poverty is not a situation or a condition, but more of a challenge which we can overcome by a joint efforts of people. Growing up in India, I saw more and more of poverty, but less efforts soon to eradicate it. As being a curious person, I researched on the topic and came up with a few ideas to eradicate poverty and concluded all of them in a video I submitted to you. In this video, I will describe how poverty is, what poverty is, and I have focused on ways in which we can eradicate it. Always remember, we can eradicate poverty as long as as long as we are in this fight together. Alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. Um, so may I share my screen? Okay. I miss my screen visible. Yes, it's visible. Okay, you can play it. Thank you. 
Okay, dear Tushar, uh, I just want to say that it's not easy to leave me speechless. Uh, you did it. You left me speechless. This was incredible, really. And uh, uh, later on, I will uh, watch again your presentation, your video, because it's really, really great. I was really, okay. really so excited to see it thank you so much and i wish you all the best in this contest and later in life thank you okay. so much thank you so much Mr. Okay. and i couldn't agree more with your judge it was an attention grabbing you had us glued to every slide of your way and you had marked yourself not only as a creative person but a person who is able to convey a powerful message in a more more attention grabbing manner and that was a captivating performance thank you so much tushar and wishing you all the very best and congratulations on a job well done great yeah thank you most welcome dear. Moving on to our next contestant, we do have contestant number 73, Nakshatra Dubey from India. Contestant number 73, Nakshatra Dubey from India, student of Suman Purohit Das. Nakshatra Dubey, contestant number 73. All right, I would now like to call upon contestant number 12, Pratish Mundal from India, student of Ms. Swati Bakshi. Pratish Mundal from India. Hello. A very good evening to you, Pratish. Would you please mind to switch on your video? Pritish, kindly switch on your video Thank so you that I can spotlight you. Yes, you are visible. A very good evening to you, Pritish. Good evening, ma'am. How are you, are doing? you doing? Yes, very yes, well. Thank I'm you. I, I'm unable to jinx you now so that we've spoken at the same time because you have yeah. a competition to carry forward. So yes. are we ready, Pritish? Confident? Yes. yes. Very good. Keep the spirits going high. And let me now introduce you to your respected judge. Ms. Vadrana Sarek, who shall do the honors of evaluating and assessing your work. Ms. Vadrana, Pritish Mandal from yes. India. Yes. Hello, Pritish. Uh, yes. Can you please introduce Hello. yourself and explain yes. your work? Thank you. I'm Pritish Mandal from India, and I'm a student of Funlish. So I'll just share my poster. Yes, OK. You all can see the screen, right? Yes, yes, British, yes. OK, uh, so after observing my poster, you all can easily understand it demands that water must be saved. The left side of the poster indicates a healthy, wet earth, and it is defined by the kid's face. It's so young and healthy. Like, you can never think of something bad, something unpleasant when you look at that face. But in the other hand, if you see the right side of the poster, it shows that the earth is dried up and it is indicated by a face. And that is an old man's dried up face. Now I can say that almost every one of you just figured out this much. But what you didn't think about, or maybe some of you did, is the tap from which water is flowing. If you see, it's not just a water drop coming out, um, you can see portions of earth in it. Like if we lose water, we lose the entire earth, not only just the blue, but also the green, the land, the species, everything. Now uh, we all know that we can control the flow of a tap. 
so that's the reason i use the tap because some day or the other we will lose water and the earth will get destroyed but just as the knob we can control the flow of time now if you all ask what this time means this time means that um, the time we got before we lo lose all the water if we keep wasting water we lose earth fast but if but if we save water it uh, we will lose earth later and maybe we can buy some time for our future generations so just as the tap the flow of destruction of water is in our hands now we decide um if we turn the knob to the full speed or turn it in such a way so that the flow of time slows down thank you everyone okay thank you thank you and good luck to you bye bye thank you pratish you can you may now please stop sharing screen thank you so much ms vadrana and thank you pratish a picture speaks a thousand words and yours certainly did destruction created by man can only be reversed by man as the solution lies within the problem itself wonderfully presented congratulations and wishing you all the very best and now i can jinx you your jinx thank you So moving on to the next contestant we have once again calling for contestant number 73 nakshatra dubey from india student of ms suman rohit das contestant number 73 moving on contestant number 76 pranjali nangia from india student from uh, student of ms sonia Contestant number seventy-six. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm here. A very good evening to you. Good evening, ma'am. Very good evening to you. How are you doing, Pranjali? I'm doing great. Yes. So I can see that you're all excited and geared up. Show who you are. The power of Pranjali. Ready to unleash? Yes, ma'am. Wonderful, wonderful. And let me not forget to say that you are looking absolutely pretty. Thank you um, so much ma'am. Most welcome and now let me introduce you to your respective judge Ms Liliana Mudrinic from Serbia. Ms Liliana contestant Pranjali from India. Hello dear how are you? Hello ma'am I'm fine. Okay could you tell us something about yourself and uh, about your work? Yes ma'am I'm just going to share my poster on the screen. Okay. Let's see. Is it was mama screen is my screen visible? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, it's visible. Okay. So first of all, warm greetings esteemed judges, distinguished guests and fellow contestants. I am Pranjali from Dubels Public School representing my country India and today I will be giving you all a small brief on SDG 4 quality education through a poster that I have made now we all know that learning is not a spectator sport it's a process a continuous process that not only requires strategized studying but also strategized teaching in today's world quality education is the basic need of every education system it is necessary for the future development of any country but the question is how do we achieve it how can we change the very basic education system and turn it into an advanced one sounds difficult but a very significant solution has been provided in sdg 4 of quality education which proposes the four c's of education that is critical thinking communication collaboration and creativity giving a short description about each critical thinking increases possibility of solving the problem communication increases commitment which in turn increases productivity collaboration increases teamwork and creativity increases techniques now education is indeed necessary but life skills are far more important so let us work towards creating a conducive learning atmosphere to develop the innate competencies of the learners so that they can logically deduce the problem and then critically and creatively resolve it 
Thank you and have a blessed day. Thank you, dear. Uh, great presentation. I uh, wish you all the best. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much, Ms. Liliana. Sanjali. Yes, ma'am. Cover the problem. I mean, uh, I, I just saw I just saw that discover a new way, communication, collaboration, critical thinking. You were thinking like yes, a leader out there. Those are the qualities that we as leaders need to need to demonstrate for us to show that we are capable of managing ourselves and our teams. So wonderfully presented. Congratulations on that. And once again, pretty face, beauty with brains, I should say. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you so much, ma'am. You're most welcome, dear. Moving on to our next contestant, we have contestant number 77, Kushagra Luthra from India, student of Miss Sonia. Contestant number 77, Kushagra Luthra. Yes. Kushagra Luthra from India, student of Miss Sonia. Yes, ma'am. I'm here. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I pronounce your name right? Yes, ma'am. All right. How are you doing, Kushagra? I'm fine. I don't think you're fine because you're very, having a very sad face and that makes me sadder. Why not? Where is that chirpy face? I'm sure you can put on a beautiful smile. Well, I think that's your best. But however, are we ready, Kushagra? Yes, ma'am. Wonderful. So let us dive into the competition right away. And let me now introduce you to your respective judge. Ms. Patricia from Croatia. Ms. Patricia? Hello, dear. Hello. Can you please? Uh huh, okay. Can you Ms. please Ms. explain your work to us? Yes, ma'am. Will you share the screen or? Okay. Good evening, ma'am. So this is my poster. I am Kushagra from Bluebells Public School, Haryana, representing India. I have designed my poster on SDG 17. It is one of the sustainable development goals established by United Nations in 2015. The official statement issued by UN for this goal is strengthen the means of implementation and revitalize the global partnership for sustainable development. I have chosen this goal to bring out the essence of how countries work in partnership to achieve goals and it helps to and how it helps to promote international trade and help the developing countries to increase their exports to ensure a universal rule based and equitable trading system that is fair open and beneficial to all thank you and have a thoughtful day okay thank you so much and good luck to you Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Thank you so much, Ms. Patricia. Uh, Kushagri, you may now stop screen sharing, please. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you, Kushagri, for that uh, wonderfully executed um, performance. Collaborative work does go a long way. Team make, teamwork makes the dream work, as they say. So. Wishing you all the best and congratulations to you once again. Moving on to our next contestant, we have contestant number 79, Kushi Mittal from yes, India, a student of Ms. Neha Marwa. A very good evening to you, Kushi. Good evening, ma'am. Beautiful eyes, beautiful hair, bubbly smile, looking great today, mm -hmm. feeling great as well. Yes, ma'am. Ready to take over the world, I believe, Kushi, you are. Yes, ma'am. Of course, love that spirit. Keep it going. So now let's show the power of Kushi and evaluate and assess your work. You have your respect to judge. Ms. Vadrana joining you right away. Ms. Vadrana, contestant Kushi yes. Mittal from India. Hello, dear Kushi. Uh, Hello. Can, you, can you please explain your drawing? Yes, yeah, sure. People say if there is magic on this planet, it is all because of water. Good evening to one and all present here. Today I, Kushi Mittal, of age 14, studying in Bluebells Public School in Gurugram, India, is here to tell you all about my poster. This poster is on the topic Importance of Sustainable Development Goal 6, Clean Water and Sanitation in Our Lives. 
The main reason I have chosen STD six is because I think it is one of the most important STD. No one can live without water. People fast for one or two days, but can we live for even one day without water? I don't think so. Water has countless benefits, varying from plants to humans. I think now there is a high need to aware the people that if they would not stop contaminating the water resources. then they won't be able to preserve anything for the upcoming future generations through this poster i'm trying to illustrate the discrepancy between a society that is aware of clean water and sanitation and a society that is not aware society which is not aware is throwing garbage here and there and excreting in open even a woman is washing her clothes in the river and from the same river a boy is drinking that dirty water A woman is weeping as a child is dead just by drinking that river water. Not just the animals, but plants are also dead. On the other side, people seem to believe in cleanliness. There are proper washrooms for excretion. The water is being properly treated, and all the people are happy because they have healthy, clean, and mineralized water to drink. Even the plants are delighted and fresh. So I think we should start conserving. water right away and use it wisely on the personal level we can reuse water spread awareness carry out rallies and do much more on the government level government can make proper washrooms proper drainage system and even more wastewater treatment plants strict laws by government for keeping river lakes etc clean and anyone who violates the law should be penalized i would like to finish with this wonderful quote drip drop drip drop this clock needs to stop thank you and have a nice day thank you dear koshi and good luck to you bye bye thank you so much ms vadrana thank you so much she mital at once again a confidently executed speech awareness it was all about awareness and i'm sure we are seeing a leader in action who is ready to provide that awareness on how water is an important aspect of life congratulations on a job wonderfully done pretty lady and wishing you all the very best most welcome moving on to the next contestant we have contestant number 18 divyanshu chand from india student yes, of ma mr yeah. marwa very good evening to you divyanshu how are you doing good evening ma'am i'm ma'am fine how are you doing Yes, I'm doing very well. You have a very energetic spirit. Thank you, ma'am. Are you a very vibrant chap? Yes, thank you. <laughs> so, are we ready to present? Yes, ma'am. Wonderful, wonderful. So, let me now introduce you to your respected judge, Miss Liliana Mudrnech from Serbia, who shall do the honors of evaluating and assessing your performance, Miss Liliana. Contestant Hello, Divyanshu Divyanshu. from India. Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Excellent. I'm enjoying you uh, looking your works. So I'm excellent. Uh, can you introduce yourself and your work? Yes, ma'am. I'm just sharing my screen. Okay. So, ma'am, this is my screen. Uh, this is my poster which I created. Um, uh, uh, good evening to one and all present in this Zoom meeting. I am Divyanshu Chand, studying in Bluebells Public School, Haryana Gurugram. So, uh, in this poster, we can see that uh, there are two images which depict what should, what things can be done and what things can't be done. So, in this first poster, we can, uh, the first image, we can see that people are wisely using water, whereas in the second image, uh, the people are just uh, dirtying the water and they are just excreting in it. They are just washing their clothes and utensils in it. so we can uh, we can learn from this that we should uh, there are some safety measures which we can use to conserve our water like we should use a shower in, uh, use, we should use bucket to uh, take a bath instead of using shower and we should not pollute the water we should wash our clothes and utensils in our homes instead of going to the rivers and washing them and despite being so developed uh, uh, still many of people lack uh, the clean water and sanitation according to a survey 2.2 billion people still uh, still lack the basic facilities of clean water 4.2 billion people still lack the basic sanitation services and during the covid pandemic we have also got that 3.3 billion people don't have enough water to wash their hands at home 
so we need to work together to have to help our world a better place to live in and we should work together because by uh, working together we achieve more so with this i conclude my presentation and i would like to end it with a beautiful quote that uh, people have lived without love but no one has lived without water so we need to save it thank yes. you ma'am okay thank you thank you for your presentation it thank was you. interesting and uh, would you tell us something more about it no, okay thank you i wish you all the best thank you ma'am Thank you so much, Ms. Liliana and Divyan Shu. That was a powerful statement that you ended with. It doesn't matter if you don't have love in your life. Please ensure that you have water for a handsome okay. chap like you. That is a very powerful statement that you're putting out there. But it was a wonderful presentation, wonderfully executed, confidently done. Congratulations and wishing you all the very best. Thank you, ma'am. Most welcome, dear. And we now invite contestant number 38, Kashish Sharma, once again, who is now ready to do her presentation. Kashish Sharma. Am I audible? Yes, indeed, you are. So I believe your internet connection is stable now. And I would say we'd like to apologize to the judges for the inconvenience not at all not at all these are things beyond our control and now once again i call upon your respected judge Ms. Vadrana sarek who shall do once again the honors of evaluating and assessing your performance Ms. Vadrana kashi sharma contestant number 38 yes dear hello to you uh, can you continue <laughs> It is widely said that Tehran Samaria, decent work is the heart of the search for dignity for the individual, stability for the family, and peace for the community. And indeed, it is true. A very good evening, respected judges. I, Kashi Sharma from Dubas Public School, Gurugram, India, would like to talk to her about SDG 8. The Sustainable Development Goal 8 is about decent work and economic growth. SDG 8 recognizes the importance of sustained economic growth and high levels of economic productivity for the creation of well-paid quality jobs, as well as resource efficiency in consumption and production. It calls for opportunities for full employment and decent work for all alongside the eradication of forced labor, human trafficking, and child labor, and the promotion of labor rights and safe and secure working environments. Poverty eradication is only possible through stable and well-paid jobs. My cartoon depicts how people are still unknown about its importance, and I would love to be a little hand in the process, because in the end, every every hand counts, and we need to join our hands to make it more stronger with each passing second, not with each hour or not with each day, with each passing second. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank you, and good luck to you. Bye bye. Thank you so much, Ms. Vadrana, Kashish Sharma. Congratulations for having completed your presentation. Challenges are just another hurdle for you, isn't it? You would just pack them off, keep going, and doing what you have to do. And that is a quality of a great leader. Congratulations, and wishing you all the very best, dear. You're most welcome. And moving on to our next contestant, we have contestant number 82, Asta Gupta from India, student of Ms. Neha Marwa. Contestant number 82, Asta Gupta from India. Good evening, ma'am. A very good evening to you, Asta. How are you doing? And I'm really doing well. What about you? Yes, I'm doing great. Being amongst you gives me so much of energy and also uplifts my spirit. So thank you so much to all the talented and beautiful souls here. So are we ready, Asta? Yes, ma'am. Gonna show them who Asta Gupta is. Yes, Gonna run the flow. Wonderful. Keep that going, champion. Let me now introduce you to your respect judge, Miss Liliana Mudrinec from Serbia. Ms. Liliana, please do join us and kindly evaluate and assess our contestant Asta Gupta's performance. Hello, Good evening. Asta. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, can you tell us what did you do? What yes. can you explain us your work? Thank you, Ms. Liliana. 
Hello everyone, I'm Astha studying in class 10th of Global Public School in Gurugram of country India and today I'm here to tell you about what I genuinely wanted to portray about LTG 14 through my handmade poster. As we all know that LTGs have a great importance not only in our life but to the whole world. The United Nations graciously offered us 17 SDGs to follow for sustainable development and at its success, almost all the countries in the world are promoting and actively participating in it to have a sustainable life. My LTG number 14, which traditionally says about life below water, aims to conserve and sustainably use the oceans and marine resources, as healthy oceans and seas are essential for our possible existence. Yet we have invariably managed to do tremendous damage to these precious resources. There are many reasons which are resulting in this anonymous damage like plastic pollution, oil spilling, chemical levels in ocean, rising temperature and ocean currents. One of the main leading reasons typically resulting in this change is oil spilling which I initially illustrated in my poster along with the outline effects faced by many marine animals and plants. Oil spilling frequently kill marine mammals such as whales, dolphins, seals and sea otters. It clogs low holes of whales and dolphins, making it impossible for them to breed properly, disrupting their cognitive ability to communicate with each other. Not only animals are undoubtedly suffering this, but aquatic plant life inside the ocean is also affected by the oil spilling as oil can also prevent the germination and the gradual growth of marine plants. I chose this LCG because it is not a problem linked to a specified area or a country. It is a devastating problem linked to the whole world. Oceans and marine resources are of great importance to us as they help us in numerous ways like they influence our health and well-being, they regulate climate, affect the weather, provide us with vital renewable energy and also some marine invertebrates produce antibiotic, anti-cancer and anti-inflammatory substances. As a global citizen, we can take up treaty solutions which are conserved protect and restore to tackle this problem worldwide. We should keep in mind that water and its resources are life and its effective conservation is the future. So we should all instantly start to responsibly manage and protect all the marine life around the world. It's time to take action. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Your presentation was excellent. You was excellent. I wish you all the best. Thank you, ma'am. Bye bye. Thank you so much, Ms. Liliana Asta Gupta. I think your presentation is something that my country, Sri Lanka, should have been viral on all because we had faced this issue a few days back where a ship has been wrecked in the middle of our seas and contaminated our entire water, making fish, marine life a danger, even as an edible soul. So, Asta Gupta, a leader in the making, a minister in the making, I see. So, keep your spirits high, go push that economy towards your vision. Thank you so much. Wonderfully executed and congratulations to you. Wishing you all the best. Thank you, ma'am. Most welcome. And next we do have contestant number 86, Juhi Arora from India, student of Miss Kavita Ban. Contestant yes, number 86. Good evening, Juhi. How are Good you evening. doing? Yes, ma'am. There are you are Juhi, an individual who I have seen bearing a smile from the moment the contestant, she was smiling during everybody's performance. Now that's a beautiful encouragement that you can give as a peer. Kudos to you champion. So how are you doing? I'm fine. Wonderful, I can see you're more than fine. You're great, you're fantabulous. You're feeling so good, isn't it? Wonderful, yes, wonderful. A beautiful smile you've got and you are a pretty and a gorgeous lady inside and out. So shall we begin, Juhi? Yes, ma'am. Shall we show the world you're just not a pretty face? You're an yes. iron lady too, wonderful. So here I go, invite your respected judge, Miss Patricia from Croatia, Evaluate and assess your performance. Ms. Patricia Juhi Arora from India. Hello, dear Juhi. Can Hello. you please explain your work? Yes, can sure. What is the use of a building if you don't have a decent planet to put it on? 
11. The statement has a very effective meaning on SDG 11. A very warm evening to respect the judges, other distinguished guests, and my dear friends. Today, Ajuhi Arora from Bluebells Public School, Gurgaon, India. I'm here to tell you about SDG 11, Sustainable Cities and Communities. As we all know that the sustainable means to be continued for a long period of time. So I would like to put a question that the way we are growing up and developing urban areas, is it correct for a future generation? Don't you think that we must improve our lifestyles? Like in my poster, I showed how we are developing. It clearly states that there is very less clean greenery, no use of renewable energy, and tall buildings that don't allow even sunlight to pass. More than half of humanity, 4.2 billion people lives in cities today. Cities are engines for sustainable development, and it is important for us to work in urbanization to give a place to live in for a future generation. So, so here are some solutions. By planting trees, by adding solar panels on the roofs of the buildings in the smart city, the layout of cities can be pre-planned to include dedicated green areas, which help to control the pollution and global warming. Paul McCartney once said, there must be a better way to make the things we want, a way that does not spoil the sky or rain or the land. At last, I would like to end up with a few lines. Every day we observe the traffic and pollution, how we are going to find its solution. I see in my neighborhood this site, it's not a matter to be taken light. I see the leaves and trees crying and bone fallen leaves flying. I wish that it stops soon, otherwise we'll have to take refuge on moon. Plant trees and take care of them and urbanize your city with a proper system. Thank you and have a thoughtful day. Thank you, dear, for the great, great presentation, for giving solutions, and I wish you all the best in the next uh, contest. Okay? Thank you, Mom. Thank, Thank you, Bob. Thank you so much, Mr. Trisha. A change evangelist in the making, Juhi. We're going to change the world with greener energy, a cleaner world, and a better place to live, aren't you? Yes. Wonderful. Yes. So keep going keep having the same foes due towards your noble vision and congratulations to you a wonderful presentation it was and wishing you all the very best thank you man. most welcome to you so our next contestant we have contestant number 87 anishka from india student of miss sonia contestant number 87 anishka from india yes ma'am a very good evening to you, Anishka. Good evening, ma'am. How are you doing? Very good, ma'am. How are you doing? Yes, I'm doing well. Has anybody told you that you look pretty? No, ma'am, not yet. You are the first one. Oh, yes, of course, you are pretty. So now start wearing a much prettier smile. Give us a big smile, Anishka. Wonderful, yes, darling. So let us now dive deeper. I can see a beautiful presentation already on the screen. So let me not hold you back. Let me now please in, um, introduce you to your judge, Ms. Vedrana Sarek, who shall evaluate and assess your performance. Ms. Vedrana Anishka from India. Hello, dear Anishka. Hello, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening to you. Uh, can you explain your drawing? I see here presentation, no drawing. <laughs> okay. So, warm greetings for the day to everyone. I am Anishka from Bluebells Public School, India. And today I'll be focusing on SDG 4, that is quality education. So now let's move on to the next slide. So it states to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. So the next slide. So I believe that education is a journey towards excellence and growth, and it must be available to everyone. So the four C's of 21st century are critical thinking and problem solving, communication, collaboration, creativity, and innovation. Okay. 
so ma'am sdg has four targets sdg 4 has 10 targets pre primary and secondary education equal access to quality pre primary education affordable technical vocational and higher education increased number of people with relevant skills for financial success elimination of all discriminations in education universal literacy and education for sustainable development and global citizenship okay dear sorry uh, but i want uh, to see your drawing and not presentation no ma'am actually i made presentation i think uh, that is enough uh, for now thank you thank you so much okay ma'am thank you ma'am thank you so much ms vadrana uh, anishka that was a presentation with managerial skills in it i so i have seen such uh, presentations being presented in board meetings and i think your presentation was equally as good as that i have seen in large board meetings so congratulations on a job well done keep your fingers crossed because you are a champion already and wishing you all the very best thank you so much ma'am you're most welcome darling and moving on to the next contestant contestant number 89 taksh yadav from india student of ms homer shiv good evening ma'am number 89 good evening to you taksh how are you doing i'm i'm doing fine how are you yes i'm doing very well thank you so much so are we ready daksh yes ma'am and you are refusing to give us a smile why is that yes there you go thank you so much so daksh is ready to roll and i think your respected judge is also waiting to be invited and that would be miss liliana mudrinich from serbia ma'am please do the honors of performing evaluating and assessing daksh's good evening ma'am Good evening. Hello, Dex. Is am I pronounced well? <laughs> oh, okay. Could you yes, present us, uh, your work? What did you do? Yeah. Did you make? Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm starting the screen share. Screen share. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. I, Dex Shadav, Class 9C, New Bell Public School, Guru Gram, India. I am presenting on the topic SDG 15, Life on Land. A flourishing life on land is the foundation for our life on this planet. We are all part of the planet ecosystem, and we have caused severe damage to it through deforestation, loss of natural habitat, and land degradation. Promoting a sustainable use of our ecosystem and preserving biodiversity is not a cause; it is the key to our own survival. Based on this thought, I have designed an e-poster with SDG 15: Life on Land. my poster is divided into three parts importance of plants and animals how can we preserve them and how they are getting extinct the plants and animals have in help in maintaining food chain promote soil formation and protection provision of biological resources maintaining balance in ecosystem protecting fresh water resources provision of food security genetic diversity and much more as a part of global ecosystem ourselves we need to conserve and protect plant and animal life on land best we can do by reducing deforestation reversing land degradation preserving the natural biomes of the animals protecting the natural rainforest many factors are responsible for depletion of extinction of flora and fauna like population explosion hunting extensive use of fossil fuel in the world people think that they cannot make difference but if one follows some basic steps in his life he can make the world a better place if we follow the principle of 3r that is reduce reuse and recycle it will be a great help in preserving the nature reduce means to minimize the amount of waste material reuse refers to using utensils items more than once recycle means putting a product to a new use instead of throwing it away i will end with a quote environment is no one's property to destroy it's everyone's responsibility to protect thank you everyone thank you excellent presentation uh, a lot of thing on your poster is placed uh, i congratulate you and uh, wish you best thank you ma'am thank you so much miss liliana i think your poster would be taken by the un i think stolen by the un if they ever see this online 
such a wonderfully done poster, Daksh, and you are a great public speaker filled with enormous talent. So congratulations on a job perfectly executed and wishing you all the very best. Thank you, Moving on to most welcome, dear. Moving on to our next contestant, contestant number 90, Bhavika from India. Contestant number 90. Hello, ma'am. Good evening to you, Bhavika. How are you doing? I'm perfectly fine. How are you? I am doing very well. Thank you so much. A beautiful face I can see. So why not show that beautiful face? You're hiding it halfway. Yes, there you go. There you go. Show your, just, just flaunt that beauty of yours. And now you're also going to, you know, showcase your power and talents to the world. So are you ready, Bhavika? Yes, ma'am. Wonderful. So let's dive right in. And let me now invite your respective judge, Miss Patricia Herjok from Croatia. Miss Patricia, please do the honors of evaluating and assessing Bhavika's performance. Hello, dear Bhavika. Please Hello, present your work. Please present your work. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Hello, I'm Bhavika from Bluebells Public School, and today I'm going to present my poster in front of you, which is based on SDG goal number two, that is zero hunger. Poverty is like punishment for a crime you didn't commit. Did you know hunger and malnutrition prevent people from improving their life meals? It's like a spiral that go round and round with no end. People like us who have never faced extreme hunger and can afford the food by our choice may not believe that there are more than 700 million people who live in extreme hunger and are unable to provide their children a healthy and nutritious life. Now, let me tell you about the causes of hunger. Number one, wastage of food. It's well said by someone that trash bins are full but stomachs are empty. In a report by Food and Agricultural Organization of United Nations stated that 1.3 billion of food is wasted every year, which is sufficient to feed 3 billion people. Moreover, climate change reduces the resources that we depend on to feed ourselves. To end this hunger by 2030, we must start today. An inspiring and real example is John Verl Hangel. This man from Phoenix met a mother of nine that managed to survive themselves with the food left over from supermarkets. And he organized a food collection to some of them. Founding the first food bank in the 1960s with some volunteers at empty space, which are now crucial on the whole planet. The measures to eliminate hunger from the world are access to education, women empowerment and reducing the wastage of food and many more and my presentation and now i end my presentation with some beautiful lines let us come together and end this hunger we are not getting any younger helping others is not an op option but a duty that holds honor it will make your heart stronger don't wait any longer thank you thank you so much <laughs> Thank you, dear, and good luck to you. Bye. Thank you so much, Miss Patricia. You're right, Bhavika. Don't wait. Don't wait any longer because the world has waited long enough. A leader in the making, Bhavika from India. Congratulations on your wonderful performance and presentation and wishing you all the very best. Moving on to our next contestant, we have contestant number 91, Anani Garnai from India. Anani Gernai. Contestant number, yeah, Anani, yes, I found you. Good evening to you. How are you? Great, ma'am. And are we ready to rock and roll? And uh, Okay, so I have your um, spelling wrong. Your Ananya, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, ma'am. What, uh, the A is missing. I'm sorry. Were you pissed when I mispronounced your name? Because I get, no pissed when people mis I get pissed when people mispronounce my name, although it's a difficult name. So, ready, Ananya? Sure. So, just give me a big yay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wonderful. And let me now introduce you to your respect judge, Miss 
with Rana Sarek, who shall do the honors of evaluating and assessing your work. Good Hello. evening, ma'am. Hello, oh, dear Ananya. Uh, could you please explain your work? Oh, yes, ma'am. I'm just uh, sharing my screen as I've made a PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Is my screen visible? Yes, but uh, dear, um, this about uh, drawing, no, no PowerPoint, PowerPoint presentation. Oh, uh, ma'am, but I have prepared a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, that is not not um, for not accept. Yes, in this way. Sorry. So, ma'am, shall I not present? Um, this competition about drawing, drawing your drawing, not your uh, PowerPoint presentation, not, not in this way. I'm sorry. Okay, ma'am, no problem. Can she still present, ma'am, because she has already prepared. She can speak for SDG 17, if you allow her. Ms. Vadrana, there is a request from uh, Ms. Sonia um, asking whether yes, she Yes, yes, yes. Rules, rules are, are cl uh, clean and uh, for all uh, is the um, same rule, yes. We, we need, we need uh, uh, only drawing, only drawing, not PowerPoint presentation. I'm okay. sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, Ms. Vadrana, could we just maybe give Ananya another chance to quickly make up a poster and come back? Is that all right? Maybe if we I, have time. I think, uh, that we have uh, on Facebook page uh, uh, her draw, uh, drawing, uh, but uh, now not presentation. Yes. Well understood. So uh, that's all right. Yes, a competition goes by rules, and everybody stands close to their rules. So that's tough luck. So I hope the rest of the Contestants have their drawings, not presentation in hand. So let me now move on to the next contestant. Contestant number 93, Gundip Kaur from India. Contestant number 93, yes, Gundip Kaur from India, student of Ms. Neha Marwa. Yes, ma'am. A very good evening to you, Gundip. Good evening, ma'am. Can you see my poster? Yes, I can. Okay, you have a poster and you're ready to rock and roll. Yes, ma'am. Wonderful, wonderful. So let's show the world who Gundip Kaur is. And for that, let me invite your respectful mm -hmm. judge, Ms. Liliana Murunic from Serbia. Ms. Liliana, contestant Gundip Kaur. Hello, Hello ma'am. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Excellent. I can't wait to see your work. Yes. Can you present? Yeah. Okay. Water is our most precious resource. It sustains life everywhere. We all deserve to live in a world where everyone has access to clean running water and sanitation. Our fresh water and ecosystems are safeguarded for the future. We all have a role to play in helping the UN achieve this goal by the year 2030. Water is the driving force of all nature. These SDG goals hold more importance as they address not only the measurable changes in well-being of people, but also the means of how these changes should be induced. Today, one over, today, over 1 billion people are unable to access clean drinking water. It affects all aspects of their lives. I chose clean water and sanitation as it ensures availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. All one in one three people live without sanitation. This is causing unnecessary diseases and death. They are critical for the survival. Sanitation problems are particularly difficult for people with impaired immunity. So in my first block, I am showing that to understand sanitation and water problems is an important step in eliminating them. So to ensure clean water and sanitation, hygiene awareness is an important need in schools. Sessions on hygiene are conducted which stress the importance of cleanliness 
and personal hygiene. Improve sanitation facilities by providing toilets. In my second block, I am showing due to COVID time, that proper hand washing with soap and water can reduce diarrhea cases by up to 35%. So for better sanitation, we should clean our mouth before and after every meal we eat. In my third block, I have to clean and save water. We should build wells to extract groundwater from underground aquifers, provide home with filters to make drinking water clean and safe. In my fourth block, I am showing that we can reuse water in different ways, like to collect shower water and it can be reused for watering flowers. Same we can do with collecting rainwater. We can also use unused drinking water for washing utensils as the taste of water gets murky. Water conservation helps to recharge groundwater by reducing consumption and using alternative sources of water. This method includes rainwater harvesting, groundwater recharge, reuse of recycling wastewater. So I would like to conduct my poster with a beautiful slogan that we should we shall not defeat any of the infectious diseases that plague the developing world until we have also won the battle for safe drinking water and sanitation and basic health care. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Excellent presentation. I wish you all you the best. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, Ms. Liliana Gundeep. That was a convincing, clear, and a captivating performance. Congratulations on job perfectly done. Wishing you all the very best. Moving on to our next contestant, we have contestant number 115, Kratika Purvar. Kratika Purvar from India, student of Mr. Heyman Avasti. Contestant number 115, Kratika Purvar from India. Contestant number 115, Kratika Purvar from India. Last call for contestant number 115, Kratika Purvar from India. Moving on, contestant number 116, Abhishek Kushwaha. Abhishek Kushwaha from India, student of Mr. Heyman Avasti. Contestant number 116, Abhishek Kushwaha. Good evening, ma'am. A very good evening yes, to you, Abhishek. How are you doing? Yes, ma'am. I'm fine, ma'am. And how are you? Yes, I'm doing very good. You have a very vibrant voice, and I'm sure that's going to help you very well in your presentation. So are we ready, Abhishek? Yes, ma'am. Ready to grab the trophy? Yes, ma'am, of course. Ready to rule the world with your SDG vision? Wonderful. Yes, so let me now introduce you to your respective judge, Ms. Patricia Pajor from Croatia. Good Patricia, evening, please do the honors. Hello, dear. Please present your work and relax. Okay, ma'am. Okay, relax. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. The first form of inequality is to try to make unequal things equal, Aristotle said. Good evening, everyone. I, Abhishek Kuswa from grade 12 of Samford Futuristic K-12 School, Aurelia, Uttar Pradesh, India. I'm glad to be a part of this international forum, which has given me the opportunity to share my views on importance of equality. Here, I have made a poster in the support of Sustainable Development Goal 10, which is based on theme, Reduced Inequality. As picture gives better message than words, so I have made this poster based on social inequality, which shows how people of lower society discriminated. People not only discriminated socially, but also discriminated based on sex, race, ethnicity, religion, or other status within a country. Socially discriminated people are actually away from the modern world. According to me, main reason behind this discrimination is the mentality of people. Until we get equality in education, we won't have an equal society. The message which I want to give through my poster is to reduce inequality. Inequality is also bad for economy and reduce human potential, which is affecting countries' development. According to me, one important and major way to reduce inequality is that people should be aware that how inequality is affecting the society and led to the end of the world. At last, I want to say that 
as nature gives oxygen to all similarly equality is given to all thank you thank you so much and good luck to you thank you thank you ma'am thank you thank so you, much ms patricia so abhishek you believe that women should hold an equal place as men in this world yes ma'am of course i think the change has already taken place and the next generation is going to witness gender equality with powerful leaders like you all driving the much needed change so wonderful presentation a beautiful thank speech you, was very heartfelt and wishing you all the very best thank you so much ma'am you're most welcome dear yeah. and for our next contestant contestant number 117 disha parihar disha parihar from india student of mr hemant avasti contestant number 117 disha parihar from india student of mr hello disha how are you doing i'm good now and you thank you very much for asking dear i am doing very well so how about today are we ready yes ma'am i'm ready wonderful so why not give us a big smile yes ma'am and a thumbs up yes all right wonderful wonderful so let me now go ahead and invite ms vidrana sarek who would be evaluating and assessing the work of this beautiful young lady who is with us ms vidrana good evening ma'am uh i want one second i think she is uh, 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 she said that she doesn't have an internet now her oh, connection is think, lost all right she okay but message Okay. No problem, but we always have our ever wonderful and beautiful Miss Nada Ratkovic, who would be assessing and evaluating your work. So a beautiful lady to another beautiful lady. The connection is here, and you may begin, Disha. Okay. Hello, hello, Disha. How are you? Good evening. I'm good, and you, ma'am? Fine. Please, can you introduce yourself? Yes, ma'am. um uh, okay. i'm disha uh class uh, 12 and i'm from india and uh, i am here to in uh, introduce you all about my poster that i have made uh, it is about the social uh, inequality that is sdg goal number 4 and it is uh, social inequality occurs when resources in a given society are distributed unevenly in the poster we saw that some people get privileges and some some people work hardly and get then get the uh, things and some another side some people do nothing but get the things because they provide uh, they provided the resources and support this situation we can see in various uh, sectors in various uh, areas and uh, so on so social inequality is very harmful for society and it has very uh, several important dimension it can be wealth inequality treatment inequality alcohol uh, inequality and many more so basically uh, we can uh, uh, deduce the uh, rate of the inequality by uh, increasing the literacy rate and uh, introducing the policies and Uh, reduce the discrimination and uh, inequality in the society now uh, this is uh, this on this should not done because uh, this inequality creates the uh, many problems in our society as we also seen in the situation in many sectors that the men and women are not paid equally for their wages and uh, uh, At, at last but not uh, least i want to uh, end uh, this piece with uh, the quotes that elephant needs a thousand times more more food than the ant but uh, that is not an indication of inequality thank you have a nice day thank you thank you dear disha i hope that your wishes will be achievable and that very soon that and men and women will have all the, the same human rights thank you very much and best wishes thank you ma'am 
Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Nada and Tisha. That was a spontaneous speech, I believe. There was no script for you. You just spoke about inequality with your heart. You spoke for the many voices, voiceless women out there. You spoke for me. You spoke for all the female candidates. So kudos to you, champion. That was a beautifully presented presentation. So wishing you all the very best. Thank you, ma'am. You're most welcome, dear. And um, uh, Ms. Nada Rakovich, we have a contestant, Rashi Rakshita Balla from yesterday, who has been allowed to present today. Contestant Rakshita Balla. Ms. Neha Marwa, if you are online, can you please let us know her contestant number? Yeah, I was just checking. Rakshita wasn't yesterday's uh, contestant number. I was what just would be checking her contestant on the number? Uh, yesterday, uh, we left yesterday, I think, 60, uh, 69, 70, and 71. Uh, no, ma'am, actually. No, no, yesterday was not. Uh, this, uh, it was actually Miss Ruchi, Ruchi Mangos, eight, 79, 80, and 83. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to present today. I don't think they are here. I don't also okay. know whether. Ms. Ruchi is with us. She did message, but let's see. But uh, Rakshita Bala, if Ms. Neha, you could actually give us the contestant number. I would invite I'm her. I'm just so trying to find out. Her. Um, mm -hmm. All right. Okay. No problem. So then we will move on to the next contestant. Okay. okay contestant okay, okay. number 118. Viber from India. Student of Mr. Ajit Kumar. Contestant number 118. Viber from India. Student of Mr. Ajit Kumar. Vaibhav, are you with us? Uh, I found I found Rakshita. Rakshita Bala is number 86. Yes, All right. So I think we will give a final call. Yes, ma'am. To uh, contestant number 118, Vaibhav. Contestants, please make sure that you all are online. Chances will not be repeated. Time is of the essence. We do have many more students to present. So please be available to present with us. A contestant number 119, Viber. Moving on. Contestant Rakshita Bala. Yes, she's yes. here. All right, wonderful. So how are you doing, Rakshita? I'm fine, ma'am. Thank you. How all are you? Good. Yes, I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking, darling. So, all ready? Yes, ma'am. Ready to win? Yes, ma'am. All right, wonderful. So, let me dive into the competition right away and invite your respected judge, Miss Liliana Mudrinic from Serbia. Miss Liliana, please do us the honors of evaluating and assessing contestant Rakshita Bala from India. Hello, Rakshita. Thank you, ma'am. Greetings to you, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm very fine. Thank okay. you. Can you present your work, dear? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, can I share my screen for more clarity of the presentation? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I hope my screen is visible. Yes. Yes. Okay. Greetings to one and all present in this Zoom session. Today, I, Rakshita Bhalla, a student of Class 9, Bluebells Public School, Gurugram, India, am here to present my work on the topic, Importance of SDG 6 in my life. Let me first brief you all about what is SDG 6 and why I chose this SDG. SDG 6 is all about providing clean water and sanitation facilities to each one. I chose this SDG because for many of us, clean water is so plentiful and readily available that we rarely pause to consider and think about people who lack it. So my fourth part of the presentation focuses on the importance of clean water. It is a very basic question and we all know the importance of clean water. Clean water is used for many purposes like recreation, cleaning, natural beauty, but the most important and significant point of all is health. According to stats, almost 9 lakh people die every year due to the lack of clean water and sanitation facilities. Still, we neglect the importance of water and take it for granted. The next part of my PPT focuses on the challenges. So what are the challenges? First, the scale of the need. Almost half of the world's population lacks clean water and sanitation. That is quite a big number to reach. 
the second challenge is the variability of the problems water quality rainfall and hydrology are all site specific the third problem is reaching people most in need it is difficult to compare people who need more and whom to reach first as every problem has a solution so the last part of my presentation focuses on the steps to be taken we can use water efficiently we can improve the water quality and the last we can try to use hygienic sanitation practices so that we can help prevent diseases from spreading further in the end i would just like to say that though clean water is like a treasure to us but unlike treasure it cannot be stored and saved in a box what we can do instead is to use it wisely and understand its importance thank you <clears throat> my dear uh, this is presentation uh, vadrona said uh, uh, that presentation is not uh, acceptable just drawing and the uh, posters am i right i'm um, i'm sorry to disturb you this is an e poster e poster okay okay then just one slide yeah. Yes, ma'am. Only one slide. Okay. Okay then. Yes. Yes. Not our presentation. One, one. One slide. Yes. Okay. Okay then. Okay. That was great. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you so much, Liliana, and uh, thank you so much, Rakshita. You just made a very powerful statement, a very convincing statement. Water may be a treasure, but we should co rather consider it as a blessing. use it wisely and make sure that we've got the blessings to our lives and we extend the blessings to all of humanity beautifully said wonderful presentation and wishing you all the very best rakshita thank you ma'am most welcome dear we move on to our next con uh, contestant contestant number 120 riya yadav from india contestant number 120 riya yadav from india student of ms shikha taneja Contestant number one hundred and twenty, Ria Yadav. Good yes, evening good to you, Ria. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Thank you so much for asking, dear. I am doing very well. And pretty face, pretty smile. So beauty with brains, you are, aren't you? Thank you, ma'am. Yes, yeah, so another beautiful leader is ready to rock the stage, and without any further ado, let me invite your respect judge, Ms. Patricia Hajog from Croatia. Ms. Patricia, this is Ria Yadav, contestant from India. Yes. Good evening, ma'am. Hello, dear. Can you present your work, please? Yes, ma'am. Sure, ma'am. I can. Good evening, respected judges, my worthy opponents, faculty members, and audience. I, Ria Yadav, student of Bluebells Public School, India, want to present my poster with you. And here I go. Sustainable Development Goal is about peace, justice, and strong institutions. One of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals established by the United Nations in 2015. The official wording is to promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development, provide access to justice for all, and build effective, accountable, and inclusive institutions at all levels. The goal has 12 targets to be achieved by 2030. Progress towards target will be measured by 23 indicators. Hey, do you want to hear the story? Sorry, dear. Where is your work? Uh, no, I'm just me? sharing about. I'm just sharing now after this. Ah, uh -huh, okay, okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hey, do you all know about the fact that corruption, bribery, theft, and tax evasion cost some U.S. dollar one point twenty six trillion for developing countries per year? This amount of money could be used to lift those who are living on less than dollar one point twenty five a day. Here in this poster of SDG 16, peace, justice, and strong institution, I want to delineate that a dove is holding a olive branch in the hand, which symbolizes peace, calmness, and purity. There is a world which is in the shape of heart, with love, affection, and towards which is towards a nation. Variety of religious peoples locating in distinct places are holding hands and supporting with, which shows amalgamation and togetherness. There are numerous countries' flags which are entangled in strong institution of ribbon, which shows that world is not alone. 
with it there are countless countries supporting them at the end i want to say that you must not lose faith in humanity humanity is an ocean if few drops of the ocean are dirty the ocean does not become dirty you must be the change you see you wish to see in the world rightly said by mahatma gandhi thank you and have a thoughtful day Thank you so much for this wonderful presentation. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miss Patricia. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ria Yadav. That was a message to Mother Earth, right? Telling her, "You're not alone. We are here with you. Together, we will make you a better person, and we are here for you." wonderful wonderful be the change you wish to see in the world so be the change ria and i'm sure your fellow colleagues and that was like a battlefield were the opponents wow wonderful so wonderfully presented and wishing you all the very best thank you so much ma'am you're most welcome dear and for our next contestant we have contestant number 122 harshita kandwal harshita kandwal from india student of miss poonam dalal yes ma'am good evening to you harshit good evening ma'am how are you doing i'm doing great thank you how are you doing yes i'm doing very well and your bright smile and beautiful face makes me even feel greater so are we ready harshita yes ma'am Yes, another worthy candidate, ready to win, and we shall dive right in. May I now please invite Miss Nada Rakovich to do the honors of evaluating and assessing candidate contestant Harshita Kanwal from India. Hello. 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 How are you, Harshita? Are you ready? I'm okay. Thank you. How are you? Fine, thank you. So, please, can you introduce yourself and show and explain your work? Thank you. Ma'am, I've prepared a PowerPoint presentation along with a poster. May I have the permission to share the screen? Yes, you can share the screen. Yes. Tim Jackson says. it's a story about us being persuaded to spend money we don't have on things we don't need to create impressions that won't last on people we don't care about a very good evening to esteemed judges distinguished guests and my fellow friends i am harshita and i study in dubels public school gurugram india let me begin by asking you a simple question why do we buy stuff very simple right to make our lives easier and more convenient well that's one way of seeing this most of the time we buy stuff because by buying stuff as guido palazzo says we become something we belong somewhere we increase our happiness so in this race to become the happiest person we consume and consume and then we dispose and dispose now the more we consume the more we dispose and the more we dispose the faster the rate of production becomes and with more production there is more extraction of resources you know extraction is just a fancy word for destruction destruction of resources destruction of our future and destruction of our planet now this problem is what brings us towards our goal sustainable development goal 12 responsible production and consumption now you all might be wondering what this goal is about so the goal here is to ensure sustainable consumption and production pattern uh, there harshita there harshita please uh, i can uh, mm -hmm. i must tell you something uh, you can only present it your first slide so turn on back and if you want you can talk talk more about it you don't you can't have a presentation so come back on the first slide um actually this is my poster okay okay then you explain your poster okay thank you 
Yes, ma'am. So here is a poster which I made myself. It represents my views on the topic. I believe that as the problem begins from the production itself, we need to focus there first. The production, the producing units must ensure that harmful substances are not released into water, land, or air. Then come the consumers. The consumers, according to me, have the most important part to play. They are the ones who dispose their consumed products. So to dispose less products, they should try to consume less and smart. Also try to recycle as much as they can. It not only reduces the dispose, but also reduces the production. In the poster, I have mentioned that household consumes 29% of global energy, contributing to 21% of CO2 emission. To solve this problem, we should switch to energy efficient lighting to save $120 billion every year and prevent 16 billion tons of carbon emission over the next 25 years. Now, this is what I meant by smart shopping. Every year, about one third of all food produce, equivalent to 1.3 billion tons, is wasted. While 1 billion people remain undernourished and another 1 billion go to bed hungry, we should try to reduce the food wasted. Whenever you waste food, think about the farmers and their hard work. It always works. Also, as I also, I'd like to say the world's fresh water supply, such as rivers and lakes, are polluted at much faster rate than nature can recycle and purify. So just try. Try to reduce the release of chemicals and waste into air, water, and soil. I know, together we can do it. That's all about my poster. Um, now, why I chose this goal for the presentation? I feel that the solution to this problem is the solution to hundreds of other problems. For example, responsible consumption and production can help reduce poverty, solve the problem of hunger, help in good health and well-being, increase quality education, solve the problem of clean water and sanitation, decent work and economic growth, combat climate change, conserve life below water and that on land, thus covering 10 SDGs. Though all the SDGs are very, very, very important, my personal opinion is that SDG 12 is the most important as it not only promotes responsible production and consumption, but also nine other SDGs. It also connects to people, but this is something we come across every single day. This is why I connect to this topic, and this is why I chose this topic. Um, now, I'd like to end my presentation by okay. a self -presentation. You can start sharing. You can start sharing. Um, by a, I'd like to end this by a short self post poem. Consume less. Sorry, dear. Sorry. Vedran is sending me messages that the rule is three minutes per one contest contestant so this is really really too long and there is a lot of children who want to do their own okay thank you thank you thank you so much thank you you can start sharing please can you stop sharing your screen please thank you it was amazing thank you very much and best wishes Thank you, Mommy. Thank you so much, Ms. Nada and Harshita. You do not have to disappoint yourself because you did a wonderful job there. Your message, your job is complete. So do not worry. It was a wonderful presentation. I enjoyed every bit of it, and so did Ms. Nada. I was looking at how yes, attentive she was, was. It was wonderful. Yes, thank it you. Was thank you, wonderful. So congratulations and wishing you thank all the best. Thank you, ma'am. Most welcome. And moving on to our next contestant, we do have contestant number 130, Dishita Saikia from India. Contestant number 130, Dishita Hello. Saikia. Hello, am I audible? 
Yes, you are, Dishita. Very good evening Hello. to you. Good evening. How are you doing, Dishita? I'm doing well, ma'am. I hope the same for you too. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much, Dia. So, ready to rock and roll? Ma'am, um, yes, exactly. Uh, definitely. Of course, definitely. So, let me call upon your respective judge, Ms. Liliana Mutnic from Serbia, to do the honors of evaluating and assessing your work. Ms. Liliana, Hello, Hello Dishita. How are you doing? Doing well, ma'am. I hope you're doing well too. Okay. Can you present us your work? All right, definitely, ma'am. So, shall I begin, ma'am? Are you sharing your screen? Oh, no, ma'am. I shall be uh, sharing my uh, drawing in a few minutes. So, okay. uh, ma'am, shall I begin? Shall I begin, ma'am? Yes, of course, you can. Thank you, ma'am. Well, I shall begin with a quote. A harmonious society can only be created when we learn to embrace and accept differences, not just tolerate them. Namaste and good day to everyone present here. My name is Dishita Sekia. I study in the 10th standard in Sarla Vela Gyanjyoti, Guwahati, and I come from the state of Assam in India. Today, I will be talking about one of the sustainable development goals, which still remains one of the most important subjects for an accepting society and has remained that way for years to come. That's why right. it's SD, it's sustainable development goal set, that is reducing inequality. This is the third idea for SDG 10. I chose this topic because I think this goal puts out many solutions for embracing a proper harmonious society to promote equity and equality for every single individual. Well, I agree that all the SDGs are special in their own way. SDG 10 has caught my eye as a rather interesting topic, which has placed it in a very special place in the heart of history. In my drawing, I have included people of different skin color holding hands, which signifies people, which signifies people not being afraid to embrace their differences. The note is a quote stating that we are one, along with the blow with the SDG symbol having people holding their hands around it, signifying unity. Next, I view people of different skin color, young and old, with and without disabilities, walking side by side, showing affection and friendliness to each other. And last but not the least, I view the flags of different sexualities under the bright light, celebrating and recognizing the people of different sexual orientations, especially for this month, that is also known as Pride Month. This goal specifically highlights all of these communities to embrace their differences and coexist among each other. In this world, we may be different because of certain specialities, but in the end, we are all one, and therefore must understand that different people have as much right as all of us to exist in a free and euphonious society. These days, during the pandemic, we have seen many people getting affected, especially the people belonging to marginalized communities, minorities, indigenous tribes and the people belonging to poor sections of society. This pandemic was a huge blow to many people and has affected many lives. Though LGBTQ plus not have been made in India, a majority still don't accept people from this community in the society. We are fortunate enough to be safe in our rooms right now and at least have a roof over our heads. Therefore, as the lucky ones, we must help those who are not as fortunate as us. Now you all may be asking, how can we spread this message? Well, the answer is to start now, as later soon becomes never. We mustn't hesitate to spread the message of equity and equality to people all around using any medium, such as art, writing comics related to these goals, music, or speech, and use our time to invest in policies and institutions that may help save our life. But let us use a moment to take this one bold step and change many lives for the better. The strong can help the poor and sow the seed of strength in unity for everyone to move forward. And perhaps by 2030, we may as well achieve that goal if we continue this. As we all know, we will always start small in this one. But we must never forget that a single life can shift a huge scale. Thank you for listening, and I hope you all have a wonderful day ahead. Well done. <laughs> this is a really, really great presentation. You convinced me. Uh, you can stand. Thank you so much, Grow up, people, and talk 
in the public. Uh, you have talent to talk in public. I'm really uh, satisfied with your presentation. Thank you very much. Thank I very really much. wish you all the best. Thank you so much, Ma. Uh, Fakhmida, uh, Fakhmida, please. Uh, I talk to Vedrana and I ask her. Uh, my student, uh, Laura Radanovic, would not have internet, so please, uh, can you take her now? Uh, sure, she, no problem. No 221, problem. 221. Okay. okay, all right. Sure, sure, Ms. Nada. Thank you so much, Ms. Liliana. And Dushita, as the Mexicans would say, mucho excelente. From the very beginning to the very end, bang, bang, bang. Your voice, your message, your pronunciation. Wow, an excellent speaker and an excellent communicator. You are wonderful, wonderful, Dishita. Ladies and gentlemen, I would kindly request you to put your hands together for Dishita Saikia from Assam, India. Thank you so much, Manabhiji. It means a lot to me. Yes, it means a lot to you. You have taught us so much and we are convinced that we should also work towards equality, one for all and all for one. Wishing you all the very best. Yes. Thank you so much, ma. Most welcome. And I hope everyone can see this Yes, certainly, certainly, Dishita. Thank you so much. And calling on contestant number 221, Laura Radinovic from Croatia. La, um, Laura Radinovich? I'm here. One second. Let me just get you on. Hi, Laura. How are you doing? Uh, hello. I'm fine. Yes. So are we ready to present? Yes. Wonderful. So let me now invite your respected judge, Ms. Patricia Herzog from Croatia. Ms. Patricia, please do the honors of evaluating and assessing Laura's work. Hello, dear Laura. Can you please present your work? Yes. Um, I choose education because I believe it uh, was important. Goals, I believe that simple education must have a right to everyone, no matter no. where they live, who they are, and uh, how old they are. They are. Uh, quality education is very important. It's to do different ways in education. Uh, they use many tools and different methods. I don't think it would simply be possible uh, to live without uh, some basic education. I don't think um, any of uh, us can imagine uh, absolutely uh, our lives as a person who uh, knows absolutely nothing. Today, it's very important to know uh, that technology is advising that world, that world is changing and it is simply necessary to keep up with it. You have to know where life will take you, so listen and learn for yourself. Are you done? Yeah? Yes. Okay, thank you so much and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Patricia, and thank you so much, Lara, for that clear and compelling presentation. Wishing you all the very best. And moving on, we have contestant number 263, Milian Delic from Montenegro. Milian Delic, contestant number 263 from Montenegro. Milian, are you with us? Uh Hello, thank you, thank you. I'm just working with the problem of my camera, so I'm sorry, can you wait for one minute? Sure, we will move on to the next contestant. And Milian, just drop in a message once you're ready to present. Ms. Okay. Nada, do we have any other thank students? Or can I go with an, a student from India? Uh, okay. All right, okay, so moving on, we have contestant number 131, Nishita Sharma from India. Contestant number 131, Nishita Sh yeah. Sharma from Hello. India. Hello, am I audible? Hi, Nishita. Yes, yeah. you are, Nishita. How are you doing? I'm great. I wow. hope the same for everyone out there. Of course, of course, of course. That's awesome. And your beautiful face and beautiful smile 
is indeed a contagious one. Positive vibe indeed. So are we ready to rock and roll, beautiful lady? Yeah, sure. Wonderful. So let me now invite your respected guest, Ms. Nada Rotkovich, to do the honors to evaluate and assess your performance. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Yes. Hello, Nada. How are Good you? Good evening. Okay. I'm great. <laughs> Okay, please, can you uh, introduce yourself, share yeah. your drawing, and uh, shortly explain your drawing, please? Sure. Uh, so I'd uh, first like to uh, show my poster so that we can just have a brief look at it. So I hope it's visible. Yes, yes, we see yeah. it. Yes. So uh, this is the poster. So I'd like to start my speech with a quote by Bill Gates. Never before in history has innovation offered promise of so much to so many in so short a time. And thankfully, we have the sustainable development goals. Greetings to everyone. I'm Nishita Sharma from Guwahati, Assam, India. I'm 15 years old and currently in 10th grade and studying in Sarda Birla Ganjoti School. Through my drawing, I have tried to showcase the importance of sustainable development goal number nine, which aims to build resilient infrastructure, promote sustainable industrialization, and foster innovation. The hands in the drawing symbolize infrastructure that is holding the industry, made on top of a mobile stand along with a Wi-Fi signal showcasing innovation, along with the little doodle work done above. As we know that a functioning and resilient infrastructure is the foundation of every successful community, to meet our future challenges, our industries and infrastructure have to be upgraded. SDG 9 is based on the three pillars that are industry, infrastructure and innovation, which are interrelated. For instance, if we have a good infrastructure, that is a strong foundation, an industry can be easily set up. However, Setting up an industry is not only limited to the infrastructure, we require technology as well. And this technological capability comes from our innovation. SDG 9 has approximately 20 targets and indicators related to its three pillars and is closely linked to the other SDGs related to job creation, sustainable livelihoods, improved health, technology and skill development, gender equality, food security, green technology, and climate change. In a developing country like India, unemployment prevails. However, there are solutions to it. Development in the industry sector will eventually provide job opportunities to millions. New innovations are a result of providing quality education to the children, which in turn will help us to eradicate poverty in the long run. Thus, in conclusion, I would like to say that trying to achieve the targets of SDG 9 by 2030 will eventually help us to achieve the targets of the other goals as well, since all the SDGs are interrelated. Hopefully, in the future, the Earth will definitely be a better place to live in, provided we try to stay focused with the idea of sustainability. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dear Nishita. Listening, you, I really have a uh, big uh, wish to visit your country because uh, your country is amazing with great kids like you and your friends before. Thank you very much and best wishes. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Nada. And I couldn't agree more with your judge, Nishita. You are a proud representative of your country. You have made your parents proud, your country proud, and you're an excellent presenter. Wonderful presentation, beautiful message, confidently executed. Congratulations on that and wishing you all the very best. Thank you. Most welcome. And we move on to our next contestant, contestant number 263, Milian Delic. Milian Delic from Montenegro. Hello, Milian. Can you please unmute yourself? <clears throat> Uh, yes, uh, let me let me just uh, 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 find your my photograph. Just a moment. Oh, uh, right. wonderful, wonderful. So uh, yeah. why? Okay, wonderful. Can you so can you see this? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, thank it, you. I can uh, see. Afternoon, 
Let me invite your respect judge, Ms. Liliana Modrinic from Serbia to evaluate and assess your performance. Ms. Liliana, Milian from Montenegro. Hello, Milian. Hello, uh, hello. Hello, can you explain us your work? What did you want to show us with this picture? Yes, of course, of course. My, my drawing is inspired by wars in Israel and Palestine. And I hope that war will end very soon because so many innocent people and ch children are dying. Uh, whole Balkan has war history and I know that how much war can destroy the whole community. Uh, so uh, with this drawing uh, show, uh, shows that how much children and people lives are important for this little planet where we all live. These girls with scars show how much is she afraid of losing her life or losing her family members or friends. Uh, so my message is uh, uh, to stop the wars and let the peace live on our planet. Uh, and I want to, wanted to show uh, my drawing. Uh, and I draw this with charcoal. So that's, that's, for, uh, that's, that's it for this drawing. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your explanation. You are very talented. I have to thank say you. that. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, that's it. I wish you all the best in this conference. Thank you so much, Ms. Liliana and Milian. Not only are you a talented artist, but you are a talented speaker and a leader with an enormous potential. Congratulations. I really enjoyed your work and wishing you all the very best. Thank you, thank you, goodbye. You're most welcome and a very goodbye to you. Thank you. And for our next contestant, we do have contestant number... Please do uh, bear with me. My computer seems to be stuck, one second. Contestant Kratika Purvar. Contestant Kratika Purvar, are you with us? Yes, ma'am. Hi, Kratika, would you please be good enough to switch on your video? Contestant Kratika Purvar, there you are. Yes, how are you doing, Kratika? Great, ma'am, how are you? Doing very well, thank you so much for asking. So after so much of trouble, we've connected finally, isn't it? Yes, Perseverance is the only way to grab your opportunity and run for the success post, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. I admire that in you. So not just a pretty face, but a tough lady you are. So let's Thank dive you. into the competition and why. And let me introduce you to your respected judge, Ms. Nada Rakovic, to do the honors of evaluating and assessing your performance. Hello, Kratika. Welcome. Hello, ma'am. Uh, uh, please, can you introduce yourself and show us your drawing? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. Okay. Don't What's be next? rude. Don't eat from food. Hello, everyone. My name is Kratika Purvar. I am the student of grade 12 at Shamford Futuristic K-12 School, India. It's an honor to be at this platform to express my views on SDG 2, that is zero hunger. Here, this is my poster, which shows economic discrimination between high and low class people, which has happened due to the negligence of the government. Whenever there are any problem related to nature or anything, the government look at this. But when it comes to the slum area, the eyes of the government are closed. We should pay attention to all these problems. Although government uh, uh, apply policies for uh, distribution of food in uh, every uh, situation in climate related uh, in climate problems or uh, the government provide food to uh, poor peoples, but the somehow the policies are not correctly applicable. So so many people are not getting food. So what inspired me to make this poster is a, a chapter from my book and what I had seen in my locality. That uh, we should, uh, the message uh, my poster gives to the society is that uh, 
we should stop wasting food so that we can stop hunger the government should also pay attention to all these problems and not only the government but we should also pay attention to all these problems so that we can stop uh, hunger and uh, if we waste food then this is not good we should stop wasting food and just donate some food to the needy ones so they can sleep betterly and their bellies are get fulfilled so if we are together then we can stop hunger definitely thank you thank you thank you kritika very much uh, no wasting food no hunger thank you amazing and best luck thank you ma'am thank you so much ms nada kritika kritika don't be rude donate some food i really like that punch line i will remember it forever that was a beautiful presentation confidently executed congratulations on job well done and wishing you all the very best thank you ma'am you're most welcome and next we have our contestant number 134 priyal bajoria from india contestant number 134 priyal bajoria from india uh yes, yes ma'am uh, hello yes, yeah uh, yes. she will be not doing i really apologize for her no problem so she's not well on. oh no problem okay thank you so much ms ranjana we move on to contestant number 152 rudranshu patyayan from india rudranshu patyayan rudranshu patyayan from india student of ms shweta singh contestant number okay. 152 rudranshu are you with us yes ma'am a very good evening to you rudranshu how are you doing extremely fine ma'am how are you thank you so much for asking dear i am doing very well preparing for your presentation preparing for yes, the battle preparing for the win sure <laughs> so um, why not small I... smile on my face Yeah, yes, very good. All right. So while you start sharing your screen, let me invite your respective judge, Miss Liliana Mudrinet from Serbia, to do the honors of evaluating and assessing your performance. Miss Liliana Rudranshu Patyan from India. Hello. Hello. Good evening, ma'am. How are you doing? Excellent. You? Extremely fine, ma'am. Okay. please explain us our your work is my mom able to see the screen yes we can see okay sure ma'am just a second okay take your time good evening good evening ma'am my name is rudranshu katyan and today i'm going to give an explanation on my poster based on sdg 16 and i'm primarily covering the aspect of peace First in the poster starts with a brilliantly colored macaw which represents each diverse group of humans on the earth basis any grounds so basically we are carrying the letter r which stands for every type of resources so the future of this world is upon us if we divert resources towards the revival of the earth which includes the investment of resources into things like education overcoming poverty etc this will be a big promotion to peace as with more and more education there will be almost negligible terrorism with the overcoming of poverty there would be no violent protest all over the world which will ultimately lead to a far more sustainable earth whereas on the other hand if we invest a massive chunk of resources into devastation purposes like ammunition securing atomic powers and what not then as shown the earth will be full of retaliations wars making it highly unsustainable the worldwide defense expenditure is currently growing at the rate of 4.4% per annum and if we go by this current trajectory then according to a report by world development uh, world bank world's 80% population would be living in poverty by the end of 2030 so it is a very difficult task indeed to divert resources but as quoted by vijay lakshmi pandit the more we sweat in peace the less we bleed in wars i would like to share an instance with you all I was in my geography class 2 years back they explained me sustainable development as development in a way that we meet the needs of the present without compromising the availability of the same for our future generations 
But since then, I have always been thinking, even though we do have a sharper mind than other creatures, but this does not mean we'll take away some other creatures' ecosystem from them. We say that we, even the people who are especially able should get the same right and opportunities as others. So then why do we discriminate and snatch tranquility from not only humans, but the other elements of the nature? For me, global peace would be established only when every creature is at peace. There is a thin line between progress and development. Progress is mostly used in individuality, but development is when we uphold everyone and move towards a better future together. Now, finally, coming to the solution, we don't have to go searching anywhere to find peace as we already have a million of solutions right in front of us. But somehow the blindfold of selfishness is of each individual doesn't let us discover that. For example, Hideki Yukawa discovered nuclear force, which was a great discovery. But what was it used for, firstly? Bombing. And it is still being used to threaten each other's nation, disrupting peace. But for such a long time, we didn't use it for producing electricity. It produced low-cost energy, releasing zero carbon emission, but we overlooked it. Why? Because simply we didn't want to be used in that way. And currently, it is helping so much in resolving electricity problem in so many economically poor nations. According to me, rethinking will always lead to resolution, but reaction will always lead to revolts. We need to establish stronger independent institutions which look aggressively promoting peace, and it need not to be consistent of degree holders, but by those who are moved by peace and sustainability of the earth and should be funded equally by every nation to restrict internal influence by any nation. So by establishing an equilibrium between peace and development, we will be able to achieve this goal as well as every other goal at much faster rate. As, as, I, feel, as I feel like poverty, hunger, education, and healthcare would only be solved when the world will stand united and will be at peace. Then only we will be able to coordinate with each other to reach the other goals and make a peaceful and sustainable earth. Thank you all for investing your time in my explanation. Thank you for your interesting explanation. I wish you all the best in this conference. Thank you, thank you so much, Ms. Liliana. Uh, and uh, thank you so much, Rudranshu. Revive or revolt, what would happen to the earth? Make your choice wise. Beautiful presentation, confidently executed. Congratulations. Okay, yes, we can oh. we can call them. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. So let me start with contestant number 140, Shyama Debnath from Bangladesh. Shyama Debnath, are you with us? Hello, ma'am. I'm here. Ma'am, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Good evening to you, Shyama. Good evening, ma'am. Thank How you for doing? giving me another chance. Not a problem. The deserving candidates, the right candidates, always deserve an opportunity. So here you go. You've Thank got you. your opportunity and now prove yourself. I'm sure you're going to rock the flow. Let me please invite your respect to judge Ms. Patricia Herjog to do the honors of evaluating and assessing your performance. Ms. Patricia Shyama Debnath from Bangladesh. Hello, dear. Hello, uh, ma'am. We, we are happy to have you here. Can you present your work, please? Um, hello, everybody. I'm Shyama Debnath from Bangladesh. I'm a student of Cameron School and College. I'm feeling very much grateful to participate in this event. And uh, here is my project. Uh, we know a few days ago we had our Environment Day on 5th June. Every year we uh, celebrate this day to aware people about our environment. That's why uh, the SDG has been implemented by the U uh, United Nations uh, and it has 17 goals and I have worked with the goal number 14 which is life below water. So here is my project. 
There are uh, two scenarios here. One is clean water and the other is polluted water. We know the water is being polluted day by day and we are we human are responsible for this. We throw different kinds of pesticides and very harmful things which are harmful for the um, animals uh, below water but we don't think about them we just pollute the environment and again i also want to give an example of my country not only about polluting environment um we are also not giving the animals below water to breed for example um in rainy season from the last of april to the middle of may is the perfect time of uh, fishes to breed in our country and at that time the fisherman catches the fish at a rapid rate so they don't get time to breed and as a result the number of fishes are decreasing and uh, uh, like this way many um, animals are being extinct and uh, water pollution is also a cause of extinction of um, water animals um, for example, many people washes different kinds of uh, utensils on water. They might be harmful for the fishes, but they don't think about them. Again, um, in our country, uh, many waterborne diseases like cholera, dysentery, etc. occurs due to um, this water pollution. And um, the utensils used by the those Patients, contagious diseases like cholera are also washed on those water and um, fishes are living on those water. So we have to think about them uh, and we don't think. That's why I think uh, the SDG goal number 14 is made uh, to aware people and encourage people to um, don't pollute water and think about the life below water. Not only for Bangladesh, um, I would like to... Um, Tell that uh, follow the SDG goal number 14 to the whole world. Let's spread this uh, through our World Environment Day. It's actually celebrated for this, that we can do something for our environment. And um, thank you. That's all. Thank you so much. Very lively presentation. I wish you all thank the you. best. Okay, bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Thank you so um, much, Miss Patricia. And thank you, Shama Devnat. Job well done. Thank you, ma'am. Presentation confidently executed, and that was an amazing job. Congratulations on that, and wishing you all the very best, Shama. Thank you very much, ma'am. Most welcome, dear. And next, we do have a contest contestant number 153, Parthi Goel from India. Parthi Goel from India, student of Miss Shweta Singh. Contestant number 153. Yes, Hello, Mama. Party. How are you doing? Good evening to you. I'm fine, Mom. Thank you. That's a beautiful face and a beautiful smile to keep us all Mama. bright and energetic. Thank you so much for that. So, shall we rock and roll, Party? Yes, ma'am, definitely. Ready, wonderful. So let me give you your respective judge, Ms. Nada Ratkovic, who will join you in evaluating and assessing your work. Ms. Nada Ratkovic, Paki Goel from India. Good Hello, evening, Paki. Welcome, Paki. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. How are you? Thank you. Uh, please, can you introduce yourself? Uh, show us your, your drawing and explain it, please. Yes, ma'am. I'll share the screen. I hope I'm visible to you. Yes, yes, we see it. Yes. All right. So good evening, one and all present here. I'm Paki and I'm a great grade 12 student. Today I would be speaking on affordable and clean energy. So I have been drawn and brought up in a South Asian country where access to clean and sustainable energy is a privilege enjoyed by a few sections of the society. And being a part of an NGO that I work that works towards mental health, I got the opportunity to visit some of the slums in my vicinity. And this visit made me realize that how people around us suffer from energy issues. Upon speaking to a few of the residents of those slums, I was told that irregular electricity supply pushed the women to travel to far away areas to fetch water. And moreover, I saw women cooking using fewer resources like coal and wood, which not only generated a lot of smoke, but also affected people inhaling it and causing them severe respiratory diseases. 
and the people were forced to finish their work before sunset because lack of electricity did not allow them to work in dark. And all of this made me realize that how serious the issue is and how we need to tackle it. So lack of energy and clean, sustainable energy restricts not only humans, but also economic development. And without electricity, industries cannot function, hospitals cannot store their crucial medicines, and people cannot carry out the economic activities in dark. Moreover, cooking using these wood and charcoal not only kills 4 million people a year, but also leads to severe respiratory diseases in thousands and thousands of people, mostly being women and children. Fossil fuels are the major source of greenhouse gases, creating climatic changes and adversely harming the environment. Expanding infrastructure and upgrading technology to provide clean energy in all developing countries is therefore crucial for powering economic growth and reducing development gaps between the richest and the poorest countries. Hence, Goal 7 of the SDGs aims to ensure everyone has access to affordable, reliable, and modern energy services by the year 2030. To expand energy access, I believe that it is necessary to invest in renewable sources of energy. Asia has been the driver of progress in this area, with 72% of increase in energy consumption from modern renewable sources between 2010 and 2012. And we all know that energy from wind, water, solar, biomass, and geothermal energy is inexhaustible and clean. Hence, I believe that we should work on the following aspects. First, we need to enhance international cooperation to facilitate access to clean energy research and technology and to promote investment in energy infrastructure and clean technology. And also expand infrastructure for supplying modern and sustainable energy for all developing as well as developed nations. Then, secondly, Collaborating with policymakers, company regulators, and developmental institutions is required to secure a clean energy future for everyone. And thirdly, we need to shift our focus on modes of transportation that require less fossil fuels and depend more on manual sources. Hence, conduct, conduct, I'm sorry, hence constructing pedestrians and promoting a culture of using manual energy should be our next step. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please, can you stop sharing your uh, screen? Uh, I, I just want to tell something to our students. Uh, when we start uh, this competition, we said that the presentation of uh, drawings, posters must, uh, must be very short. I, uh, I really, uh, I really, uh, I like your presentations. I like your talks. Uh, everybody of you talks uh, uh, very nice, have good speech. But today and all of these days, we have a lot of students. Uh, and now we know that we have a different time zone. So please, uh, I, I beg you that if you can talk a little shorter, please. Thank you. Uh, Paki, you are, you are wonderful. Best wishes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Uh, Nada, and thank you so much, Paki Goyal. That was a beautiful presentation done. Congratulations and wishing you all the very best. And moving on, we have contestants. Contest Pahmida, I, are you, mm -hmm, okay, okay. Can I now invite Contestant number 178, Mohammed Abdul Awal Khan from Bangladesh. Contestant number 178, Mohammed Abdul Awal Khan from Bangladesh. Abdul, are you with us? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm here. Yes, Abdul, how are you doing? Good evening to you. Good evening, ma'am. How are you? Doing? Abdul, would you kindly readjust your camera so that judges would be able to see your face clearly? Only half of your face is available. Yes, yes, that would be great. So shall we dive into the competition? Yes. Wonderful. So let me please invite Miss Liliana Mudrinic from Serbia as your respected judge to evaluate and assess your work. Miss Liliana Abdul Awal from Bangladesh. Hello, Abdul. Hello, How, How are you? Are you? Excellent, you thank fine. you. Okay, can you uh, show us uh, your drawing or you will share your screen? Can you uh, see my screen? Yes, yes, not yet. We can see now. Uh, I have 
Uh, uh, hello, my name is Muhammad Abdul Awal Khan from Bangladesh. I am reading Kenya School and College in Dhaka. Uh, there are 17 goals in the TV, and I have worked on a goal number 7, which is clean and affordable energy. We all know that there are two types of energy, and energy is a must for leading our life for a particular. Because in this industrialization era, we need energy to lead our life properly because in every sector we can see that energy is a must. Uh, when we light the uh, bulb, we use electricity. Uh, when we use vehicles, all the machineries needed energy to run. Therefore, energy uh, is a uh, unending subject. Energy plays a vital role in our day to day life. But this energy also impacts our environment greatly, especially the non renewable energy which imports fossil fuels. Uh, coal and natural gas, uh, etc. These energies have increased carbon emission, which affects the uh, atmosphere of our Earth and result in global warming. And this global warming uh, uh, results in the sea level rising and it affects our climate greatly. Therefore, we, have, we will be facing many types of natural disasters. Uh, yes, and so that's why uh, SDG is working on how to use energy and by minimizing the effects of energy on our environment. Therefore, uh, we have the solution that we have to use non we have to use renewable energy. This renewable energy is environment friendly and it is called the green energy. Uh, this type of energy includes the solar energy, wind energy, turbine, uh, uh, biothermal, bioenergy, hydropower, etc. Uh, all the, by, I have, as you know, the sun is the main source of energy, so I would like to work on the solar energy. Uh, here, the bulb I have given uh, it indicates the sun and it's charging the earth that means earth to get its energy from the sun. But so here, I have put here that this energy is environment friendly and it will not uh, do any harm to our plant, earth, and planet. Therefore, we can consume energy but still keeping our environment safe. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you are finished? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Very well presentation. I wish you all the best. And please, as uh, Nada said before, please, uh, next, uh, um, next students, uh, uh, it would be great if, be, if they be shorter in their speeches. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Liliana, and thank you so much, Abdul Aval, for that wonderful presentation. Congratulations and wishing you all the very best. And for our next contestant, we have contestant number 154, Arya from India. Contestant number 154, Arya from India. Yes, ma'am. Good evening to you, Arya. Good evening, ma'am. How are you? Yes, doing very well. And how about you? I'm good. Thank you. Wonderful. So you are ready, you are prepared, and you are ready to take on the world, I believe. Absolutely. Absolutely, young lady. Yes, that's the spirit. Let me now introduce you to your respective judge, Ms. Patricia Herzog, to do the honors of evaluating and assessing your work. Hello, ma'am. Hello, dear. Can you present your work, please? Uh, ma'am, I should present it shortly. Can I just give an introduction before? Okay. Uh, so, hello, everyone. I'm Arya. I'm 15 years old, and I've chosen SDG number five, gender inequality, because I truly and wholly resonate with it. We all go through it at some point in our life. I was as a kid and now also I'm told not to come home late or not to wear a certain type of dress to some parties. And those are the things that truly build up. It's not a build up of two days, it's of years that we face this inequality and I want this to stop. And this really would, um, and I truly want to spread awareness and make an impact to my poster. And I would just share it in a while. Okay. Okay, we see it. Yes, you can present. Oh. Okay. Oh. 
through this, if you see this uh, image at once, it might seem to be a very simple image, but what I really want to convey through this is that men and women are not different. Had I not specified those eyebrows and those hairs, you would not different, be able to differentiate between the men and women. In real life, if you see, there is no difference except for the fact that men can stand and pee and women can't, and women have to go through 37 years suffering through periods and through labor pain, obviously. And well, leaving all those aside, which I feel because of these things, we are superior, but still we, we, just want, we don't want physical inequality. What we really want is equal celebrated opportunities. Why are women paid less at work, even being on the same position? 18 countries in, um, in, the, in the world have husbands can legally prevent wives from working. 49 countries lack laws from preventing women from domestic violence. Obviously, we have achieved a lot, not to say that we have not. In child, there is a decline in child marriage and genital mutations, and there is a higher representation of women in political arena. But if we see in COVID, 35% of women between the age group of 15 to 49 years have experienced sexual intimate partner violence. One in three girls of age group 15 to 19 years have experienced genital mutation. Just imagine, women are locked in houses with their tormentors. There are many solutions we can do. Obviously, we have governments to work on it to make laws. But at the root ground level, what we really have to do is to stop. Stop the men. Draw the line. Tell them not to come above that. And that is what we have to do as the women in this country. I'm not, uh, I really took up this topic because I feel the past generations have gone through so much. And now we are going through it. And it's high time that we have to stop this. The next generation should not feel that inequality exists. This is the most saddest problem I think there can be. And lastly, well, I would like to quote, well, I would like to say a quote, not by me, but by Kofi Annan. He said, gender inequality is more than a goal in itself. It's a precondition for meeting the challenge of reducing poverty, promoting sustainable development, and building good governance. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. I wish you all the best. Bye bye. Thank, thank you so much, much Patricia, and thank you so much, Arya, for that beautiful presentation and that lovely drawing on gender equality. That was an abstract explanation, as I would call it as. Thank you so much, and um, wishing you all the very best. Moving on to our next contestant, we have contestant number 156, Prati, Prati Jaiswal. Prachi Jaiswal from India. Prachi, are you with us? Yes, ma'am. Prachi, if you could kindly switch on your video. Hello there. Good evening to you, Prachi. Hello, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. How are you? Yes, I'm doing very well. Looking smart, looking pretty. You look like a FBI officer to me with that outlook. <laughs> Thank are you, you ready? Are you ready to roll yes. some guns? Wonderful. Yes. So let me invite your respective judge, Ms. Nada Ratkovich, to evaluate and assess your performance. Ms. Nada Prachi from India. Yes. Hello, Prachi. Welcome. Please, can Hello. you introduce yourself and explain your drawing? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, Ma'am, my name is Prachi Heswal from India and I am student of class 12th. My topic is clean water and sanitation, that is development goal number six. So ma'am, I would start with my personal experience. Uh, once I was traveling in the midsummers, and I saw in the side of the road that there were three to four children. They were fighting for a small water bottle and then from what I could see, the water was not even clean, but they were fighting for it. So from there, I understood the importance of the sustainable development goal number six, that is clean water for sanitation. So ma'am, uh, with the help of this poster, I, I presented the aspects, all aspects of clean water and sanitation that are safe drinking and water for all. Even Barack Obama once said that 
without regard to whether the place is wealthy or poor everyone should have a chance at clean air and water secondly water should be used efficiently efficiently because it is a smart use of our water resources through water saving technologies and simple steps that we all can take around our houses also uh, then sanitation system for all sanitation system should be available for all as it is one of the most important step towards development even mahatma gandhi once said that sanitation is more important than independence then all the water related ecosystems should be protected because the degradation of these aquatic systems and natural resources within catchment impacts biodiversity hydrological flow environmental water requirements water quality and the ability to use the natural resources it is also important to create awareness among the people regarding clean water and sanitation because the first step towards change is awareness and the second step is acceptance water quality must be improved because pure water is the world's first and foremost medicine so thank you ma'am thank you thank you very much it was a nice presentation about clean water and sanitation thank you and i wish you the best thank you so much miss nada and thank you so much my dear fbi office that was a clean clear cut performance congratulations and wishing you all the very best moving on to our next contestant we have contestant number 157 rishika jaggi rishika jaggi from india yes, rishika are you with us a very good evening yes, to you rishika good evening ma'am how are you doing rishika i'm fine ma'am how are you yes i'm doing very fine and you seem to be a very humble person are you <laughs> Yes, yes of course humble beautiful and talented of course you are so let's rock some rolls so for you to begin in let me kindly invite your respective judge miss liliana mudinich from serbia who shall do the honors of evaluating and assessing your work miss liliana hello. rishika from hello. india hello rishika evening, how are you are you I'm ready to present your work Yes, ma'am. Okay. You can start. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. I am Rishika Jaggi from India, and today I will be discussing about SDG five, gender equality. Gender equality is more than a goal in itself. It is a precondition for meeting the challenge of. reducing poverty promoting sustainable development and building good governance globally over 750 million women and girls were married before the age of 18 and almost 200 million women and girls have undergone female genital mutilation sdg 5 aims to eliminate all forms of discrimination and violence against women in public and private spheres and it targets to cover all the gender issues and eliminating harmful practices such as forced marriages do you know that 2.6 times do you know that women do 2.6 times more unpaid work and domestic work than men while family depend on this work for more women it leads to lower earnings so sdg 5 ensures that women get equal rights for and recognition and unpaid recognition and value unpaid care and domestic work so gender equality is not only a fundamental right but it is necessary foundation for a peaceful and sustainable world thank you okay thank you <laughs> i wish you all the best rashika thank you ma'am thank you so much uh, miss uh, liliana thank you so much rashika for that beautiful presentation congratulations to you and wishing you all the very best moving on we do have our next contestant contestant number 181 sara hajari 
Sarah Hajdari from Albania. Sarah, are you with us? Sarah from Albania. Last call for contestant number 181, Sarah from Albania. I didn't see her here. She isn't here. Okay, moving on, contestant number 210, Leonardo Ivacic. Leonardo no. Ivacic. She Leonardo, is yes, so, Leonardo, can you please switch on your video? Yes. Okay, I will just uh, share my screen. Yeah, good evening to you, Leonardo. Let me kindly invite your respective judge, Miss Patrice, Miss Miss Patricia. Patricia. Yes, Patricia. Yes. Okay. No, I was looking for you. Looking for you, ma'am. I just lost you there because I can only see vertical lines. Patricia Herjo yes. from Croatia. There you go. Okay. Do the honors of evaluating and assessing your work. Okay. Thank okay, you. Leonardo, you can start. Okay. okay. Hello, I'm Leonardo, and I'm from high school called Mata Blagina, located in Labin, uh, Croatia. So this illustration shows one of the goals of environmental activism, and that is climate action, which is a big part of our lives. And the climate affects us. We are all part of the nature, and therefore we must do everything in our power to protect the nature from uh, effects of climate change. So instead of lighting matches and creating fires or burning down forests, we have to improve our ecological, ecological balance by planting trees. And although many people could care less about the climate, it has a great impact on our lives. And atmospheric change manifests itself as rising sea levels, extreme weather events, and changing weather patterns. And all of these concerns stem from lack of care and involvement. And it is quite easy for people to talk about environmental change and to uh, talk how we should uh, change our planet and nobody does something to change our planet so we have to act in time because if we wait i'm scared that it will be too late that is, that's it and thank you okay excellent job dear good luck to you okay thank you Thank you so much, Ms. Patricia, and thank you so much, Leonardo, for that beautiful, crisp, and clear performance. And next, I shall invite candidate number 220, Stella. Stella, I am finding it a bit difficult to pronounce her surname. Candidate number 220. Moises. 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 Candidate number 220, thank you for that, Ms. Patricia. Uh, Stella, are you with us? I don't find her in the group. So moving on, candidate number 222, Marco Sandrich. Marco Sandrich, are you with us? Hello, can you see me? Yes. Good evening to you, Marco. How are you doing? Good, you. Yes, thank you so much. Doing very well indeed. And let me now invite Ms. As Ms. Nada is your mentor, I am going to now skip Nada and go on to Ms. Liliana Mudunic from Serbia to do the honors of evaluating and assessing your performance. Ms. Liliana, Marco from okay. Hello, Marco. Uh, can you present us your work? What did you draw? Yes, I draw a light uh, below water uh, drawing. Uh, in uh, my drawing, I wanted to show like uh, the uh, be beauty of the underworld uh, uh, underwater and uh, with this drawing as you can see I uh, draw a diver uh, uh, driver uh, 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 help <laughs> uh, I try to uh, diver draw uh, okay, say in Croatia, uh, and okay. we will translate. Okay. okay. Explore. Uh, explore. 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 Uh, how to uh, see a floor underwater uh, and uh, seeing the beauty of the uh, corals, uh, reef, and uh, fishes, uh, and that. That's all. Okay, thank you very much. 
I wish you so all the best, Marco. Thank you so much, Ms. Liliana. Thank you, Marco. Well done. Way to go, way to go. Never give up and uh, congratulations. Wishing you all the very best. We move on to our next candidate, candidate number 223, Mislav Varna from Croatia. Mislav uh, Varna, are you with us? I do not see Ms. Love with us on screen. So moving on to candidate number 224, Marin Bragic. Marin Bragic, are you with us? No, I do not see Marin Bragic in. I'm moving on to, to candidate number 260, Nikolina Petrovic. Nikolina Petrovic, are you with us? I am here. Hello, everyone. Namaste. Hello. Namaste. 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 Isn't that a grand entry, Nicolina? <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Happy to see your free spirit. Happy, happy to, to see, see you. you. I love yes. your charisma, Pachmida. Thank you so much, Nicolina. Thank you. That's a great compliment for you. So let me now move on. So I think you're ready to rock the stage uh, and all the world. So let me now move on and invite Ms. Nada Ratkovich to do the honors of evaluating and assessing your work. Hello, Nicolina. Hello. It's a pleasure. Hello. It's a pleasure. Uh, uh, best wishes for Croatia and all <laughs> our you. competitors here. So please, can you introduce yourself, show us your drawing and explain it. Okay, so I'm Nicolina uh, from Croatia. Uh, I'm a student of Economic School of Vukovar, uh, so I will be brief and clear. This is my uh, work. Uh, my topic was number 11, that is sustainable cities and communities. Um, it is necessary to make cities um, and settlements inclusive, safe and sustainable. Each of us can make small but significant difference in the world. Uh, so instead of pollution um, our mother earth, uh, let's be the part of the solution so we can uh, recycle, reuse, plant trees, use natural energy, uh, use solar energy. Uh, stop deforestation and if anybody of you wants a job a job or a hobby let's be a beekeeper bees are one of the most important animals on this world so that, that's <laughs> that's um, a good idea and that's a useful uh, idea uh, so down there, I put some motivational quote, uh, so everyone of us can be um, can make the difference, and we should think about the future. So be, ne znam obročitati Be Okay, okay, it was wonderful. Uh, Nicolina, proud and you, best. Yeah, thank you, you. I'm a lot trained. Ne moj da se, ne moj da She was very scared. No, no, Nicolina, you were wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so uh, much, well Ms. Nada. Imam pitanje. Yes. Ja uh, sad otić, ja moram čekat do kraja. Uh, ne moraš ništa. You don't have to wait. You can go thank now. You. Thank Tomorrow you. Tomorrow uh, you will know the results. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye, Nicolina. Bye. That was a beautiful presentation. Thank you, Ms. Nada. We move Thank out. You. Thank you so much. And we move out to our next contestant, contestant number 261, Ivona Segovic. Ivona Segovic, are you with us? I do not see Ivona Segovic. I'm going to move on to contestant number 262, Ivan. Juice bus I am finding it. Juice use bus. Use bus. Wonderful. I'm well learning done. Croatian names faster. Well done. Yes. Yeah, so Ivan, do I see you? No. Moving no. on. 
Uh, the next contestant would be 266, Anna Maria Lagator. Uh, Anna Maria Lagator, are you with us? Unfortunately, no. Moving on. Anna Maria Lagatov is your student, Miss Nada. Is she yes, not yes, uh, yes, I'm calling her. Maybe she has in, uh, lo, uh, lo, uh, in, a bad internet connection. Okay, she no, was here okay. the whole time. I'm calling her. Okay, so let me move on calling the last contestant, 283, Nicolina Klajic. Nicolina Klajic, are you with us? Well, unfortunately, no, no I only see no. nine participants. We've reached the end of the contestant list, so we maybe give a couple more minutes to see whether Anna Maria Lagator can join us. Okay. she will answer the call so i think that she don't have internet connection we we in our town we have t-mobile when uh, when i don't have internet my phone also don't work okay i'm sorry no problem then the competition the entire competition comes to a hard stop today <laughs> almost 250 to 300 students have presented their work from the age of eight to the age of 17. a beautiful three days has been and i would like to thank the respected panel of judges for being here with us for encouraging the students and being so sweet and kind towards every particular participant and being so patient and here we end the competition and tomorrow it's all about celebration. So competition turns into celebration where every participant and the winners will be felicitated. So don't miss out. Please join us tomorrow once again at 6 p.m. while we commemorate and celebrate our winners and all the participants. So this is me, Famida Mohammed, signing off from today's competition. So have a good day to all one and all from all over the world Bye. thank you well done <laughs> take care bye miss liliana bye bye. 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 bye 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 Mom. Mom.